Welcome there, traveler. Please, take a seat, grab a drink, and enjoy the Sunday session. So yeah, you guys are, as far as I remember, basically at, in the tap room still, packed away the, uh, the staff, the, the, yeah, yeah. staff. the one and that we can't seem to control. Well, yeah. there, was, there was some element of control. There was, there was, a, there was a controlling relationship. It probably there was... just needs practice. <laughs> You're not even evil anymore. Why are, you, why are you still on this? Trip? Why are you like this? <laughs> and yeah, the uh, the barman is like, get you guys the, are fucked. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. I, I'm sorry. I don't believe we've met. <laughs> what is it you brought into my bar? Well, it was uh, the the stick we obtained from the. Uh, the Every druid. Time. More the point. More the point. Why did you bring it into my bar? I thought you might know what it would be, and uh, well, what it would be would be the weapon that the enemy was using to take over my family's vineyard. True. True. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, we have wronged you in this. It it is. It, 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 it seems to be your lot. In I I would, on behalf of of the rest of the party, offer our sincerest apologies, and and. Uh, would would like to extend our offer to do anything you would ask to make up for it. Hey, you don't speak for me. As far as I understand, you guys going and sorting this out was already in reparations. <laughs> this is going to be the, 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 the transaction of our and we, relationship. And we completed that transaction. I was... I was <laughs> Uh, referring to establishing a new one. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're sorry we keyed your car. Uh, to make up for it, we went and got you milk and bread, uh, and we murdered your daughter. <laughs> so, do you think we can do to make up for that? <laughs> uh, we, we went and got you milk and bread, and you're lactose intolerant and gluten free. And we murdered your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. The barber's like, get the stuff out of here, and then get yourselves out of here. Why did we come back here again? So, so renting a room is out of the question. <laughs> you see here, his, like, his whole shoulders are sort of slump. And, uh, his, his, I believe his, his, we his have... Tucks, he's got a beard into his chest and there's just like a heavy sigh. He's like... <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Ryan's role-playing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've only got one other guest currently, so if your coin's good and you don't destroy the place again, again, well, I haven't destroyed this place yet. Uh, there was, there was, there was the, we destroyed like, some windows. Glass, yeah, smashing sounds. Yeah. And that was an accident. Yeah. It doesn't count. And it wasn't us, it was the twig blades. Yeah. You can rent a room. If you're not in that room, you're out of the inn. I don't want you hanging around. I don't want you in the bar room, in the, in the tap room, or anything like that. If you leave so the room, the it is to exit the building. Are you referring to me? I felt I was looking at the group in in general, but <laughs> I mean, I would understand why you wouldn't want the rest of these lot hanging around your establishment. But are you referring to me as well? My association. I... You have been tarred by this brush, sir. <laughs> See. You guys just got grounded. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what did you do? And you by association as well. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I wasn't even here for most of it. <laughs> You're the one that picked up the stick and caused everything to go shit. Look! It was a magic stick. You want to go out and not pick up a magic stick? Well, then you're talking to the wrong guy. <laughs> if only we had someone who could persuade him. He's already, like, why? He's already been persuaded. <laughs> We're staying. What does he need persuading? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Nalek's cool. Nalek's just gonna go sleep in his cart. Make potions and shit. He does it while he sleeps. I don't know. I think it's like set them up to brew. Yeah. Uh, looking at... <laughs> As it happens, Rin doesn't also need a room. I would just, we're waiting here while he pisses off to see his wizard friend. That's why we're... Yeah, and I'm probably going to hang out with my dude and uh, play PlayStation all night, so... Um... <laughs> hang out, hang oh, out. Oh, yeah, and you do, yeah, you're doing that by yourself, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd invite you guys, but, um, you know, I don't want to. Secret wizard. <laughs> Secret whiz -biz. 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, since we've been banned from the inside of the inn, uh, to Rin is going to go the out the front door, step two feet to the side, and then sit down with his bowl in front of him. <laughs> Fair enough. And you're going to go do Wicked Whiz Biz? I'm out of here. Um, <laughs> where, where, where specifically does he give us a room in, in like, location of the inn? Is it <coughs> the second floor? Or second the, floor. Okay. How hard is it to climb up there from the window? <laughs> He said we could walk through. He didn't. Just doesn't want you loitering around, causing more problems within the. You just want to break things, climbing. I up was going to specifically just like, like make jam huge, like, like, like yeah, like. Who needs yeah. pythons when you've got your own claws? Yeah, and just like make, just as much mess as possible, like climbing through the, uh, the window. But you guys are all just all about you know keeping all the uh, civilianry uh, um, on, on side and. Well, wait. Friendly. So what do, we, what do we actually need to do now? I've I've already. We need to. We're waiting. We we've got our next point to go to, like the Vistani camp near here. Was going oh, to that's right. Towards the south, the south, south, yeah, slightly okay. southwest. Slightly southwest of so the, we're towards the Vistani. Who but before we do yeah. that, why you was going to go check in with his wizard? Yeah. Okay. And then so we're, we're waiting in this town while he goes and does that. Who you okay. know nothing about. You said you were going to go see a friend, right? I was going to go see a friend. Yeah. I mean, I'd just say. Alright. We can probably safely assume it's a wizard. You're a wizard? Yeah. <laughs> you probably don't have many did other you, friends. Wow, did you just assume his class? <laughs> <laughs> you okay, didn't tell us you were a wizard. Okay, so yeah. It so is we, sort of integral to your being a I'm a, a, I'm a wizard. Here. You know nothing about my friend who may or may not be a talking duck, for all you know. But he's a wizard, though, right? But they're a wizard. Right? Like, <laughs> look, I can't see look. having many other friends. <laughs> you, can, you can have non-magical talking ducks. I happen to know at least four. Is this du- only Duckworth. Dark? Howard. Ha- Howard. <laughs> Howard. 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 Ina, his girlfriend. Hewitt, Dewey, and Louis. Hey, that's bullshit. Howard Ina is magic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know. You know Howard Ina. <laughs> From from Sweet Dancing, you go you go to the Sweet Dancing with the oh that's cool that's a small world that's All a right. small world. Okay, um, do you want to timestamp that? And... <laughs> no, that's a good one. That you still have one. that amulet, don't you? Ryan's crying. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Made Ryan cry. Are you happy? I am. It's pretty did much you, the only thing that does make me happy these days. Did you end, I, end up identifying that amulet? Uh, I identified it uh, as a real nice <clears throat> amulet. Cool. It's real. It's real pretty. It's, real, it's, real it's pretty. part of the reason yeah. why I was checking with, uh, with Wizard Friend, yes? All right. Uh, yeah. So yeah. I guess Friend we wizard. wait. Wait, isn't there a festival on tonight or something? There's always yeah. a festival on. There's a, yeah, it's a yeah. perpetual state of festival. Does anyone want to go and... Rin has a question. Waste time. Rin has a question. Uh, amongst, amongst the part... You've got, like, general wares and stuff, like bits and bobs in your cart for sale, or is it just, just your... Just your... <laughs> Weird, unpleasant shit that you're selling. Uh, I, I probably have like general healing stuff. Yeah. Okay. So no. Uh, I wanna. I wanna find if there's a place where I can buy a flute. A flute. A I would flute. not have a flute. Does it just a basic flute, or even just a reed that I could like carve into a flute? That sort of thing. He'll give it a go. Okay. Uh, so would you got you got you to play a little. We're just waiting around right now, right? I figured we were just like breaking while he was off doing his things, and no. Okay. Well, here's the thing: is like you guys can go and do festival things. Oh, it was in... just if he told us I was going to go before him and to any place that sold a flute and just break all their flutes. And oh, come that's out. awful. That's <laughs> mean. <laughs> Why? So you're, we so you're chaotic we, evil then. We don't, <laughs> we don't need a flute in our life. Um well, Look, we need bagpipes as well, but still. Yeah. Man, yeah, so you're checking in with uh, Morty. You're going um, flute shopping. What are you guys doing? Um, I think Nalag's probably going to set up a stall. Like he's going to move his cart to like over near the festival and just like open up one of the windows and start selling booze. I'm going to do the typical religious thing: go and find the local church and tell the priest why they're wrong in their religion and why they should be following Mars. Making friends. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. The traditional way. Yeah. So, you start heading up the um, basically the mountain where the magnificent mansion is is basically the one that sort of backs against it heads up to the other side of the um the the lake and then up that way so how are you heading up there because the last time you were basically just dropped out of the sky 
dimension door. Uh, yeah. So head to like the uh, the gate mm-hmm. in that area, uh, and just excuse me, excuse me to anyone walking past. So how do you how do you block get up the mountain? You got like a donkey or? I assume this is more than a one horse town. Oh yeah, it's a three donkey town. How many horses? How many donkeys to a horse? One and a it's, 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 well, it's usually one of each, and then you get a mule. You don't want a mule, though. Although they, they can that's not that's not a reference, is it? That's like that's just how that that's happens. actual. Yeah. So that's yeah. like, yeah. you can't I mean, breed past that you, either. You, like you, they they're you, stunted at that point. You, you could borrow one of Nalek's draft horses. I felt like I've already warmed it off at that point. <laughs> yeah. I, w- I would have honestly appreciated the offer, but no, he, he's like a walk there and it'll sort itself out. Kind of the um, he's a wizard. You're a sort of essentially just random guy bothering passes passes by. Can't you fly by now? Hmm. Probably. And spells and shit. I got some, I got some spells and shit. After a little while, one of the guards has been sort of watching you do this for about half an hour or so. <laughs> finally, just like, and so sort of steps down the under um, steps on the, on the inside of the wall because I was like, buddy, if you you look for horses or any sort of transport up the up the hill, let's go to the stables. <laughs> You're standing right. The, so the stable. Is that a stable? Is that a bar? Because if, I mean, if you want to get a beer, I'm not hearing um, no. <laughs> he sort of seems in there, just like kind of calculating whether he could skive off work for a little bit. But no, nah, I really should be doing my thing. Yeah, but, I get it. I get it. That's but, the, yeah. I'll get you on the way back. Uh, the all right. So like barring barring that, where do they keep the horses around here? Well, like I said, the stables. Do you want to get a beer? <laughs> Jesus fuck. <laughs> And this goes on for twenty more minutes <laughs> until eventually. Well, yeah, the um the stables are on the eastern side of town, near the near the eastern gates. Um, they obviously house horses and and that for um people when they're in town. But they also have a few of their of their own that they do rent out. If you want to you, check you that out, you it. You bought it. Yeah, it'd be that way. Uh, yeah, I'm into that. I will. Go and procure a legitimate horse. horse. Can you make a magic horse? <clears throat> yeah, there is... get. Alright, so what's going to happen is there is going to be a point at which he goes, you know what, fuck it, and just makes a magic horse. But, you know. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Rin. Hello. Uh, you're looking around for a flute, is that right? Yes. Yes. Or just like a reed that he can carve into a flute. He doesn't really have proficiency in doing that, but you know. So uh, fine. how do you, how do you see yourself going about this? I guess I'll roll an investigation roll. That is how I'm going about it. Okay. I'm investigating. <laughs> I got a plus zero. A seven. Okay. Um, He's not saying anything to anybody about this. He's just looking around for that. So you basically wandering through the sort of the central square. Of the of the town, the festival is definitely in in its fullest swing. He's just smiling and nodding at everybody, and he's just sort of see pass, people passing by. Um, some people go, um, going up to stalls and grabbing various um, various uh, pastries and bits and pieces like that. Um, some people filing in and out of uh, ad hoc uh, bars. Drinking seems to be the the choice of revelry. At one point, you see these two kids sort of running along, and you just hear this sort of. Shrieking, I guess, sound. It's sort of metallic shrieking. Oh, I'm intrigued. <laughs> and you see, there's uh, essentially it's like a, um, like a slide whistle. And these two kids sort of running along, just like, just going, vee, 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 of, of these metallic uh, slide whistles. So you're going to describe a, a, a Versailles or whatever they're called? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if one of those joins the party. <laughs> <laughs> <Vee-vee-sella. laughs> <laughs> just like that everyone's morale drops to zero yeah. <laughs> you are dead <laughs> oh, what was it they um oh they took the piss with like Lord of the Rings but there was movies Ellis instead of weapons <laughs> odd mashup but yeah. okay uh Rin will go over to the children and say uh where did you get that and the first one sort of looks at you and like 
looking up here. Ah, uh, Blinsky's. Where is Blinsky's? And there's a kid sort of looking around, looking this way, looking that way. Ah, uh, over that way. And sort of waves in a general direction. And then Rin wanders off in a general direction. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't right. say thank you. Hopefully. Because he's kind of a dick. Kind of hope you just like kick him in the shit and take it. <laughs> Just, just mug a six-year-old. I don't want to slide whistle. <laughs> Why not? That, you probably should have. That's the seven. justification for not <laughs> mugging a six-year-old. I don't want this specific thing you have. So, bye. <laughs> so I'm not going to rob you and kill you in the street. Cheers. All right, Nala, <laughs> setting up your stall. Yeah, Nala, like, um, you know, wheels his wheels his cart into like a. A central area opens up like a window, sets down a table, starts p- putting bottles everywhere, and starts like casting prestidigitation to put fireworks everywhere, and just like starts drawing attention to himself, jumping around, going, "Roll up, roll up, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nalex Magnificent." So, uh, you drop your accent. <laughs> yeah, you drop your accent while doing a voice. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me try that. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nalex's most magnificent show. <laughs> oh god, he's doing this snake all as well as Oh yeah. Um, Alright, well, performance. Yay! Fuck. <laughs> Walk one. <laughs> Six. You sell nothing. <laughs> Farts. Okay. You have like. Okay, there's a group of people sort of uh, sort of st- stop and see like the the small fireworks and everything. There's like a couple of oohs and ahs, and as soon as you sort of get out there and start doing your, uh, you know, music man, they performance. hate your accent as much as we do. <laughs> hey, screw you! Boo! <laughs> oh, boo! In, boo. <laughs> in and out of fiction. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you see sort of like a, a few people sort of like sort of look. And you sort of turn and wander off to the next door. A couple of people, and you see like three people just doing this sort of awkward clap, and then realizing oh, that no one's really been really joining in and like, oh, would anyone like a free sample? Okay, start, just start offering candy. <laughs> <laughs> come into come, my van. Yeah, come into my car. Then there's some candy over here. Drugs, <laughs> magic drugs for sale. <laughs> <laughs> I promise not to murder you in my van. Okay. Ignore the large eyeball. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> yeah. I assume you went through all the proper channels of getting a permit for a stall at this fair, right? <laughs> Did I need to? I'm surprised we haven't come across any belligerent guards or anything. Okay. They all seem to be quite helpful. Well, we're not a werewolf right now, so... Yeah. They're probably busy doing that. Yeah. <laughs> we're not a werewolf right now. Maybe later. Maybe later. Anything uh, could happen. You see this one one fella sort of wander up to. He's sort of dressed up a little bit more. He's not not sort of fineries of a of a burgomaster, but he's got a couple of like um, thicker uh, like furs over the top of his shoulder. He's more like a hot dog meister. <laughs> Boo! Oh, boo! <laughs> he, he's the. <laughs> he's a slider meister. <laughs> That's, better. That's better. That was better. <laughs> so he's more of like a councilman, <laughs> or someone of high standing, higher, the higher standing, Sandwich. or or the like. Um, he's basically just got, got sort of. They're not. They don't have like the, the, the fine. Find like cloak running it's off it. It's just a couple of, couple of you know well looked after furs like over his shoulder. Mm. So mm. Just most of the kit you know staying off the coal rather than the starlings, but styled in in the look of a rich man. Yeah, and he's um he walks up to you. He's got um got his hand both his hands sort of tucked tucked within yeah. underneath the, uh, the, the 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 furs and sort of arms crossed and he's like evening friend. Uh, Hello there, sir. How can I help you? I wouldn't mind knowing uh, who you are. Call me Nalag Proskino Von Vigus, Esquire. I'm truly sorry I just asked. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what you got here? I have many herbs and unguents and bottles of alcohol as a 
I brewed myself. And uh, the Baron knows you're here, right? The, the Burgermeister. Though. I wasn't aware the Baron had to know I was here. Well, it is his town. These are his people. I was allowed into the town. I didn't know that I had to ask the Burgermeister to be here. How dare you challenge me selling my poison. <laughs> you're not there. I'm not there. I'm also not your character. <laughs> That was just a little movie that was playing out in my head. <laughs> They're not poisons. They're delicious brews. Which happen to be poisons. Oh dear Lord. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, you are uh, not... You've not made arrangements of uh, paying your uh, your cut to the town? If you're here selling your wares? How much is required as a cut? A portion of sales. Very well. I'll have you know I am a cartel a member. Um, I'm sure my, my group can help fund that. Cartel. Yes, the Squiglione Cartel. <laughs> no, no, but really. <laughs> no, but really. Okay. Oh, oh, he's sort of looking at you, and he's got it's intimidating. <laughs> I wish there was a drug cartel called the Squiglione. Yeah, that would. And he's sitting there like, hmm, hmm. Oh my God! The head of the Squiglione Cartel is Mr. Squiggle. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's constantly going to the moon. <laughs> it's just a code for some really awesome asset. Well, that's also where he makes it. He's just like, hmm, <coughs> squig squiggle Tony. Right. Squiggly on me. They make cluster as well. Well, uh, how much is required? I can sort it out right now, if need be. Uh, he say, um, pulls a little uh, uh, notebook out of his, out, out of, out of his uh, and holding it up his... Uh, if it's portion of yep. sales, you're not going to be making any today, so you don't have to make anything. We'll see. So we'll be looking at uh, 50 gold or 10%, whichever is highest. Fair enough. I could take the uh, 50 off you now and pass it on to the, uh, the Burgermeister. I'd rather deliver it tomorrow morning. I believe I will uh, we'll be making more than 50 gold. Or leaving. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> or die trying. Or that track. I'm afraid, sir, uh, the condition, since I don't know you from a bar of soap. I must assure you, I am not as clean as a bar of soap. All the more so, <laughs> I... <laughs> I mean, maybe you don't say that. <laughs> that, that would be frankly ridiculous. <laughs> I'm... Also, did this guy show you like a badger or anything? No, he hasn't out. shown me a badger or anything. If only there was I just know he's some rich charm guy. this person. Yeah, well, like I'm just waiting for him to piss me off, and then I'm just like mind control him to jump off a cliff. Cool, cool, cool. Jimmy's not already mind control. Cool and good, <laughs> good and cool. Malik like is not a good man. Cool and suck. Cool and good. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, it appears we might have started off on the wrong foot. Uh, and he extends his right arm this time, this, uh, this, this time um, out for a handshake. Uh, I am Isaac. Isaac. And I am the eyes and ears for the Burgermeister. Ah. Oh. And you look down at the extended hand, and it is got a little, like, long... Barbed spines coming off it, um, little elongated fingers with, and long nails. What the fuck? And he's sort of. Where are we again? Balky. Is he a person aside from that? Yeah, like that, what he said. Perception <laughs> <laughs> 10. Every other indication when he brought the arm, um, brought the, the, other, the left hand out to check the notes, perfectly human. Like the guy's, he's in his, be roughly in his 50s. Um, looks a little bit sort of worse for wear, you know, like he he looks beaten up for those <coughs> 50 years. But uh, aside from this one arm, everything else appears perfectly human. Uh, roll me an insight. Bollocks. 12. <coughs> 10. As he's still sort of holding this hand out, and as you're sort of like looking at it so staring you sort of look back up again and he is looking at you with this sort of grin like he knows this is a very off-putting 
situation. Make it more off putting. <laughs> I'll put him. Now, like, takes one of his gloves off and checks his hand. Lick it. Okay. Describe what his hand looks like. So his hand looks like any other hobgoblin's hand. Um, you know, it's it's got like it's fairly hairy and like like a gorilla mitt type of thing. Mm-hmm. Except on the inside of the palm, there's a set of lips and teeth and a tongue that occasionally pops out. So you and can then, lick it. Yeah. <laughs> so he sort of just grabs the hand and like, you know, shakes it, and there's a weird feeling, but you know, very quickly puts the glove back on. Okay, for this. We're going to do contested charisma rolls. Yay! I'm good at that. Because this is a gross scene. <laughs> Fuck! Wow, you are rolling really badly. Today. <laughs> yeah. So you rolled a, a natural three, did you? Yeah, so What's seven. Your... Wait, unless it's like deception or something, and then it's seven. Because I also rolled a natural three. Oh, <laughs> damn! <laughs> Which means... You essentially win this wi- um, this game of weird hand chicken, <laughs> <laughs> but only so you sort of you're both sort of doing like one of those sort of long, contested sort of handshakes where it's, it's, it's like when you're it's, shaking they're, they're, hands with Trump, like that whole you like, do that whole yeah. sort of like any sort of those sort of business people that try and do like the hard handshakes mm. and try and sort of do, do the dominance thing. Um, you're doing the equivalent of that with gross hands, and he's the one that flinches first. And there's the one that sort of breaks the handshake and sort of... You see him sort of just tuck his hand back under, underneath the cloak. And he's back, the, back in, the, uh, in the crossed hands. And you can just make out that he's sort of wiping his hand on his <laughs> undershirt. Yeah, there's like, fluids. <laughs> he has had a gross hand off. <laughs> Why you has a lot of questions? He wasn't there for any of this, but he still feels like he has some questions. <laughs> he's not getting any. He's like, well, that introduction is done now. <laughs> yes, indeed. That just happened. I, uh, I'll be back in the morning. Very well. I'll make sure to keep a ledger of all my sales, and I'll, uh, I'll pay whatever's highest. And he, uh, you see him sort of shuffle, uh, shuffle off and start to uh, sort of dress down a couple of, uh, couple of the guards that walk past, essentially flexing because he felt like he's uh, been put down a little bit. But he's basically like starts to sort of he lost bark the weird, com- the weird hand Olympics. <laughs> yes, he's um barks a couple of commands and a, and a couple of guards that were essentially just patrolling at uh, doing a slow patrol is, and they see them sort of look at him and then just scarper off uh, following those commands. All right, Ulrich, you were uh, I yell at the uh, well. I talk normally, but. For me, that's a yell. Mm-hmm. Um, at the nearest person I see and say, You, where's the church? Alright, I'm going to get you to roll me intimidation on that just because of your look and the fact that your entire volume all the time is at 11. Uh, 7 plus, I'm pretty sure about 4 or 5, but I'm just going to. As soon as this fucking thing runs. Uh, so it'd be about 10 or 11. 10 or 11. Alright, I can work with that. Um. This one here is like, ah, St. Andrews, St. Andrews, Andrals is over there. Thank you, peasant. And then I walk up. That's where we took the, mm-hmm. yeah, it was 10. The, the Burgermeister's daughter to, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, that's in right. a past life. Mm. Yeah, and I wonder the, before the, um, the church. We were happier then. Were we? For a while. Well, I suppose the bedroom was pretty miserable. For mind, they were different times. <laughs> Man, it's been so long I've actually forgotten what her name was. Because that is going to be important. Oh, the chick, the mm. sister of the guy. Mm-hmm. The Avrot was such a creep, huh? Oh, yeah, that's weird. You got a second chance. <laughs> no, you don't. No, I'm not. Like, no. <laughs> See if I can I, I'm a shape changing drug dealer with a weird hand <laughs> like compared to the other guys I've met come in <laughs> jungle out there arena how did I forget that arena I literally turn all of my fingers into dicks don't though just, just don't don't do that though please just really just no I gotta I gotta go home and think about what I'm doing with my life guys <laughs> 
Okay, you make your way off to the uh, sort of the western side of the, the town. Um, as you're wandering along, you see why you wandering from the west across towards the east, make your way towards this uh, fairly fairly plain and uh, not it's not like cathedral level or anything. It's just it is a small yeah, a small township's church. It's not extravagant, and it has seen better days. You make your way up to the front, um, opening up the, uh, the wrought iron door at the, at the entrance. Um, can you give me a perception check as you're going in, heading up there? Ooh, this is not going to be good. Alright, so I rolled a 7. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got a negative 1 on that one. So, perception is a negative 1, so yeah, that's a 6. It's a church. One thing you do notice as you're going along, some of the stained glass windows that are, th- are along the side, some of them have been smashed or cracked and you can see just behind so from the interior there has been boards battened over the um over the this uh, is from the outside from the from the outside you can see you know, smashed glass and on the other side you can just basically see they've been bought any of the ones that have been smashed have been boarded up does it look recent or with a seven was it yeah six actually but six yeah. six possibly yeah all right yeah i still wonder wander over Okay, you make your way to the um, to the front doors, and the doors are currently currently opened up. And you can hear sort of the the hustle, uh, the hustling of uh, of people within uh, inside, um, and you hear sort of a prominent male male voice over the top, just basically giving gentle orders to people within. Just like you know, you go uh, you over there. Make sure the those windows are safe and secure. And then you hear it, you hear that voice sort of trail off a little bit further as they head, head towards the back of the um, back of the room, and you start to lose. Yeah. So they know me. Sorry. They know me with a booming voice. Or no, it's it's sort of it, they are giving commands, but they're not they're not yelling. Um, no, I don't yell. You 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 know when I yell. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> Stepping inside, you see the um the priest that's uh that's giving the orders. Uh, younger gent. Look a bit like that. See from one direction. <laughs> it just kind of doesn't. It doesn't look like one direction. <laughs> uh, I, thought, I thought like the, the band at the moment is like one of them K-pop ones. They're the only ones still doing like boy bands. Yeah. Anymore. You don't really get that outside of Korea. Mm. Um, you see him sort of going around and um, you know, give, giving orders to, to, to some people that look sort of able-bodied and then other people that are sort of like older older folks or children or or some some infirm the um he just come uh, he's just see him sort of you know crouch down and just sort of talk gently with them just sort of trying to sort of bolster spirits but giving us a good sense that uh you know things are going to be okay they're not going to get and um give me a perception check zero cool <laughs> <laughs> I wrote um, a one <laughs> so see, yeah natural one and then negative one to that <laughs> you uh, I go blind. <laughs> what's your, what's your um, passive perception, though? It would be nine because it's negative yeah. one. So okay, yeah. you see a another person that sort of appears to be sort of an organizer as well. It's a younger woman, um, long dark hair. And she's she's going around pretty much doing similar to the um, to what the priest the, the priest is, and it's just going and sort of talking with folks and and overseeing some of the uh, some of the the works that are happening on the inside. Um, yeah, I walk over to the priest and uh, when there's a lull, I guess, mm-hmm. um, I walk over and say, Father, I've come to help you out for a day. Well, as, as you approach, he's talking with one of the, one of the guys that's sort of n- nailing um, boards across and uh, what you can tell at this point here because you can see shatters of glass is a recently broken window. Um, and... He turns around and is like, and sort of turns over his shoulder. And is like, uh, you can, um, if you can, work on that window over there. And then he sort of stops for a moment and turns right around. And is like, you're a new one. Yes, I'm new to town. I'm uh, here on a religious mission, and I've got the day off. I thought I'd come and help. It hardly sounds like a day off, but. Uh, or we'll take any hand that we learn, that that uh, that's offered. Uh, I am at God's will. Oh, good, my, good, my boy. 
Ah. Any good Martian would be. I'm a Martian. I know, I know. It just sounded really weird. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, it did. Oh, boy. It wouldn't have sounded weird 2,000 years ago. (laughs) Sounds really weird now. And there you were like, take me to your leader. (laughs) His name is Zeno. And there goes the podcast. (laughs) (laughs) Congratulations. Everybody has all of their dirty secrets posted online. Yeah. Well, thanks to Facebook, I've already done that. Yeah. <laughs> he sort of looks, it, it looks you sort of up and down. You're sort of, you basically live in your armor, don't you? Oh, yeah. You're like, While you look like the sword that could be handy with a hammer, I think you might be better use. If he was going to get me with a hammer, I was going to use my shield and bash like nails Fantastic. into a wall. So, yeah. yeah. You look more like you could be more helpful once the sun goes down. That didn't, I, I, I'm yeah. looking at <laughs> 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 the look, look in your face there means that I may have spoken a little quickly. I am you look used like to you're... religious duties after sundown, uh, but it's been a while. Um, you look like you're good with a sword. When in Rome. When in Rome. <laughs> well, it was when I was in Rome. Um, <laughs> that, was, that was good. That was yeah. very well done. <laughs> I'm uh, occasionally useful with a sword. I s- say, well, I have a pole arm and a huge ass sword strap to me. Yeah. <laughs> And pull up an axe and like, I'm better with these, though. <laughs> yeah. I can handle myself, if need be. Are you are you willing to defend these folks? This sounds ominous. For what what uh, have you uh, been attacked? Or are you about to be attacked? Every night for the last three to four weeks. Well, that stops tonight. That is fantastic. And I say that very loudly. He's going to get us all killed. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh boy, yeah. Who who's orchestrating these attacks? Why would they do that to uh, godly peasants? He sort of like you know does this sort of calm down, sort of like keep your voice down. And he's like, good luck with that. <laughs> he's like, follow me. We'll we'll talk in my in in my chambers. Okay, we can talk quieter. Stage still just, whispering. <laughs> yeah, it's just me still booming, but like going yeah. And he, he leads you often to the, um, what is it, the name of the little side room in the church? Rectory? Mm-hmm. Re- yeah, rectory, yeah. And he sort of offers you a seat acro- uh, across the table and sits down on the other side and, oh boy, are you, are you thirsty? Uh, no, I'm fine, Father. I don't need many... He, he, um, he gets, uh, goes up to a little side table and just with a, got a, a jug there and just pours off a glass of water for himself and sits back down and like, every night, minions of the devil attack this building trying to destroy those who we try and house and protect here. Every one of those people in there have fallen victim to evil powers and they seek refuge in, in this holy place. I've had occasion to deal with uh, minions of the devil before. Um, which specific are we which specific devil are we talking about? I am My boy, you're out of town, aren't you? When, I, when you say you're out of, from out of town, you mean not from this region. I have been sent to this region to slay a devil. The devil's the nickname, I guess, that most of the folks give to the Lord, and he says this with the most heavy air quotes he could do without actually raising his hands up. The Lord of these lands. Thunderclap, oh. thunderclap, thunderclap. That's useful. I'm on my way to go and kill him. <laughs> The only thing, the only thing you I'm hear, sincere about this. the only thing you hear at all in the room is the sound of the glass that he was hanging on to hitting the ground and just shattering. I'm imagining he's basically Brian Blessed in Dragon King form. Yeah, that's probably accurate. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm, uh, yeah. So I, I'm on my way to go and kill him, but I can ha- um, happily deal with some of his minions beforehand. This um, this place has been attacked by, for lack of a better name. Vampire spawn. Ah, yes, I have heard of such things. Um, have you? How many? Have you though? Wouldn't I? Have? Well, okay. Let's see. Religion. Oh, I did okay with that one. Seventeen. You could potentially have been been aware of this sort of thing. Well, like, given that we're facing a vampire lord essentially, and I've been sent here specifically to stop him, mm-hmm. I would have found out at least something about vampires between then and now even if it was only just someone saying the word vampire I mean that that very thing is expressed in your like like statistics and you roll dice for them yes which is what I just did <laughs> yeah 
You're not, the, you're not a real learner, though. You're, oh, God, you're no. a doer, not a learner. Yeah, which is why I say I've heard of such things, <laughs> probably with everyone talking to me daily and constantly about them, and me just not taking it in that much. I don't know how long it took you to like understand how swords work. Well, they the quite easy, end. just the pointy end goes that way. Which yeah, the, the question still stands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I wear so much armor that occasionally it's, yeah, get it wrong, but it doesn't matter. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> as for how many, we haven't been able to get like a good count. They are very good at... Well, when I'm uh, walking over their dead bodies, I'll make sure to count them. Or they're re-dead. They're, <clears throat> they're dead again bodies. I'll be. I'll make sure to count. My oh boy, I love your gumption. And your pluck. <laughs> I'm in, yeah. I'm entirely sincere about. It. Not so fond of your moxie, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, damn, damn me for trying to use a different word than. Other than <laughs> <laughs> Color me the fool. <laughs> At that, he's like. That's a beautiful fine. That's, I know. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> How do you? believe you're going to take down Strahd? Um, usually with my sword and I put it inside of the per like the creature. It's truly a simple plan. Yeah, it usually works. It hasn't not yet. I'm sure you've had uh, other people by now mention that groups have tried this before. Yeah, but I wasn't there. Fair. I've been sent and it has been prophesized that this will happen. He's got a good point. Mm. Prophecy. Interesting. I'm already like one fifth of the way through completing it. I forget how many cards there are, but I'm already like part of the way through the prophecy. <laughs> part, because math again is not your strong suit. Mm. Well, I guess we'll see how you're going to fare, to, uh, fare with that with that charge by seeing how you deal with tonight's attack. Yeah, it should be quite easy. Um, I could get my friends involved if I um, if they're willing, but if if not, it should still be easy. Fantastic. Um, friends. Uh, who was colleagues? Who were going for? Why Acquaintances. Are the duh, 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 yep. Duh. So they're why? always interested in. Well, we seem to constantly be fighting other like creatures. I'm not sure if that's just them being interested in that or if it just happens that way. But I'm sure we can help out. What will be a true test of your faith and your metal. What kind of defences do you have here? Walls. Timber over the windows. A couple of fighting men amongst the refugees. Um, technically, I, Irene, Irene, Irene is, have uh, a Irene is proven to be uh, pretty good with a sword as well. Who, sorry? Irina. And who is she? She's the, the young lady giving me assistance out in the, uh, the defences. Okay. Have Every you, able sword is worth... Yeah. A sword? I don't know how that's saying. You sort of, at this point, you, <laughs> at this point, I feel like you think that is like a really deep, you know, saying. <laughs> yeah. Every sword is worth a, a sword. sword. Yeah. <laughs> um, with that, he sort of leads you back out into the main hall of the, of the church and sort of starts sort of running you through some of the defensive points and what has happened in previous attacks. Yep. Uh, cool. Okay. Jumping back over to Wai. You made your way across town. Found the uh, the stables. Um, got and drunk. Sorry, got drunk. Yeah. Made a friend. Had and then went to the actual stables. There's the 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 um the stable hand there is basically like we got a one little pony here you can uh you can take. I don't know why I'm trying to do a fucking voice again. Why am I doing this? Two voices. No, it's good. good because we love it. It's the fact that he's like he's like huh. <laughs> Yeah, what's this character's <laughs> name? Paint <laughs> us a word picture, Ryan. What's Take uh, me away. What's his full name? What's Hi his there. family My name's do? David. Stop, so, like, stop drawing attention to it, and maybe he'll do it. I'll, just, I'll be cool, I'll be cool, I'll be cool. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Um, I don't even know what I did anymore. Sort of Canadian. <laughs> it was a little bit Canadian, wasn't it? I don't think I'd commit to that. Basically, he offers you a like a mountain pony, essentially, which is a good one if you're going to be heading up into the Alpines. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. 
That is a, that is a fascinating accent. Where are you from? <laughs> where, do, where, do your, where do your people hail from, young, young stable hand? Tell me a story. Paint me a word picture. <laughs> Take him away. I head faked with the whole <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> I, I was needing to internet. You, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you miserable bastard. Also, what's your name? What's your dad's name? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you have any siblings? Uh, okay, I'm gonna make a... Alright. What's your deal? <laughs> you fuckers. Alright. <laughs> My name's Bill. You know what? I don't know why. I'm all disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just calls me Bill the Pony Handler. It was a bit of a pause there. <laughs> Bill the Pony Handler. Yeah. <laughs> What else have people accused you of do doing to the Lord ponies? <laughs> I try to make a reference to Bill the Pony from Lord of the Rings. What? I got it. Yeah. Someone would. Someone out there in internet land would, would go, Yeah, right, that's a fucking good joke. And you, my friend, I love you. <laughs> I'm talking to no one. <laughs> yeah, you are talking to no one. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> My little, uh, Just take a pony and go. Yeah, mount, mountain pony. <laughs> Jesus I love Christ. It. I love it. I'm into it. Let him die. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going to be a bad Hey, hey you, you, know what, you know what? Here's a gold piece just for you, Bill. That's on me. Well, that's uh, the price that you, that you need hey, to pay to... That, that's shh, it's for you. It's for you, Bill. Shh. He's sort of holding his hand over this, this gold piece. And his I, like, I like close his hand over the gold piece. <laughs> 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 he really is the mad wizard. <laughs> he just uh, sort of pulls his hand away. He's like, lean, <laughs> lean in real close. Negotiating tactic. <laughs> <laughs> and he just sort of holds his hand slightly over his thing. He's like opening up the, the, hand, the hand back open. It's like making sure the gold piece is still there. Right. I'm already walking out with the pony. It's a real one. Bye. <laughs> Okay, now with pony in tow, um, you make a. It's, it's going to take you about a, an, an hour or two at, at, a, at a canter to make it to the foothills, because you sort of got to go around the uh, around the lake, and then uh, then it's going to take about another hour or so, just of slow trudging up into the alpines to get up there. So by the time you're getting hitting that sort of area, it's well into evening, early night. Give me a survival check. Oh, okay. I don't know what that Before one is. We're trying to re remember by sight, because that's your pretty much your only reference point, finding a invisible spot on a mountainside. Uh, that's going to be the number four. This roll today is brought to you by the number four. <laughs> you wander, sort of, you don't realize at first, but it's... It, at one point, you you get you turn a corner out of like a little alpine area, and you find a set of tracks, and you start following them. And before long, you enter back into forested area, and about half an hour later, pop back out again, and you're like, "There's more tracks, more people," and realize after about another 45 minutes, you are following your own tracks yeah. in a circuit. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Before long, you feel. Like a, a weight, about two, yeah, about a kilo, land heavily onto your shoulder, and then there's this heavy scratch just behind your ear. Oh, I hope it's something good. <laughs> so then by that, roll for an issue. <laughs> you well, actually, yeah, how are you <clears> at <throat> that point? Grabbing it and throwing it. You grab hold of this thing, and it's about about yay round around the middle. You grab hold of it and go to throw it, and then you, as you as you're sort of bringing it into eye line, you can see the shape of a ferret in your hand that has now grabbed hold of your wrist with all four cl uh, clawed paws and its teeth. Rather than stopping the throw, like curl Watch it throw. around, lean into it, dive into a roll, and just and just take the energy of the throw into a roll. 
and <laughs> come up out the other side. Hey, buddy. Agi- uh, the dexterity check, not agility, because I always say agility because I'm an idiot. That is a 17. What? Damn. Plus, probably not. Did I say the wrong one? It is dexterity, isn't it? Fuck. But you did say dexterity. <laughs> So turned around and confused. <laughs> just, just like a straight. What am I? What it's am not I a save. Se- seven, seventeen plus seventeen. I got a seventeen. 17. How's, it, how's a seventeen work for you? Okay, so you managed to sort of roll over the top of this uh, this fe- um, hand ferret conglomeration, <laughs> and sort of roll over one shoulder and land sort of on your back with. Which you all recognise straight away, Alphonse. Alphonse. On your chest, that is still quite firmly attached to your hand. Hey, buddy. And as soon as he realises that he's not being launched, he releases the claws and sort of potters up your arm, up along your chest, and sort of right into your face. And it's like, in the perfect voice of uh, of Monica, it's like, bit, little, bit lost there, buddy. Ah, uh, I felt like I was making progress. Really. It was a summoning circle. You were going around in circles just to... <laughs> that, what, what that disembodied voice just <laughs> said. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. Don't you have, like, a scroll to just make a circle and teleport to him? Yeah, it takes a, it takes a little while. Um, I, have, I have a magic horse. I got a, I got a bunch of stuff. He's like, a magic horse. just follow Alphonse. He'll bring you to the door. And Alphonse sort of trots off your, uh, off your chest and just starts walking sort of at about a 45 degree angle uphill from the circular path that you've been following for the last hour and a half. I feel like I was trending in that direction anyway. You can tell very clearly from those footprints you were not. <laughs> because the evidence is right there in the snow. Agree to disagree. <laughs> Takes you about another 20 minutes heading up there and at one, at one point Alphonse stops, does these three little quick... Uh, quick circles around and then sort of bounces backwards, bounces forwards and then runs up to you and then the doors open up. Cool, secret knock. <laughs> I go I go inside yeah, the magic yeah. place. <laughs> you head in there, sort of dust off a little bit of snow off your, off your shoulders and and you see the uh, the butler sort of standing off to, off to your right. He's like, evening sir. The master's in his chambers. <sighs> I want to say Regin Norman Douglas. I don't believe we exchanged names, sir. No, I, I'm. That's my name. Hello. <laughs> Reg Re- Re- Norman Douglas. I suggest you don't leave the master waiting, sir. Yes. Uh, As he sort of pulls a small, like a uh, horsehair brush out of his uh vest coat pocket and sort of like brushes a bit of snow off your shoulders and then points you in the direction go in for a handshake take the hand away and he's got a gold coin in his palm <laughs> negotiating tactics <laughs> service here is excellent are you like just custom prestidigitation to make it look like a gold coin is in the hand don't worry about it <laughs> we'll find that in an hour oh yeah uh, as you step away, he sort of you know, bends over and like brushes the snow that you dusted off your shoulders back out the door, and then, and then tucks his little brush back into his into his pocket. Heading up to the the chamber, um, you run at the doors, and they open just automatically for you. So you go, <laughs> and uh, Mordecai is standing there at the other side of his other uh, other end of his chambers. Is like, had a fruitful day then. Uh, yeah, we are surprisingly well on track. I see that. Well, show me what you got. Take the amulet out of. Buried. Deep inside. Mm. Robes. <sighs> Hurl it across the room, unceremoniously. Alright. Okay, so he goes to try and catch it. It's like, fubble, 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 fubble. It drops to the, uh, as it starts to drop to the ground, he's sort of just like, cast to stop it hitting the ground. And then bends down, picks it up. I wouldn't go throwing this thing around. It's ancient. Doesn't mean you should be throwing it. This is an artifact. Ah, then I had to make him. But <laughs> what have you learned of this thing so far? Well, 
It makes ghosts go into the floor. <laughs> it is the dread amulet of Katash. It is ghost repellent. <laughs> Contingent on someone having previously repelled the ghosts for you. It has some prerequisites. Uh, I just, I, I tell him the description of the thing on the, on the thing. What's the on the thing? With the thing and the thing. Oh, I'm glad, glad we got there. The information that you had so far was that it was a holy based relic. Um, and you can understand that its powers would be tapped by someone of a divine or holy nature. Basically that. I, I, I fill him in on the deets. I'm not withholding from him. Should you tell him about the, um, the mind controlling stick? Hmm? You tell him about the mind controlling stick? Uh. I think that would, yeah, that'd eventually come up if we ran out of other. Yeah, when we're done with this, yeah, good point. That will come up. I want to start, stop talking about the weather and stuff like that. Um, he sort of looks over this thing and, sort of, and flips it over, looking at, looking at all his particular markings, um, then sort of holds his left hand out and this book just pop, turns up in his hand and he starts flicking through it. And Convenient. Then flicking through and then sort of like compares some notes to this one. I was like, oh. Uh huh. There's some old stories on this one here, as for the ability to defend against undead. So I can understand why, why this prophecy and card reading that your companions seem to keep on yammering about. Uh, I can understand so why. <laughs> I can understand why this would be of interest to them. Um. Yeah. Kind of surprised by that. To uh. To be honest. I which, mean, it, which it, part? Well, it, it, you know, fits our particular purposes that uh, this group happens to believe in um, some sort of prophecy. Um, it was right, though. I mean, that wasn't like, oh, on Wednesday you'll meet an old friend and have a good day. Like, that, that told us that there was going to be a thing there, and then there was. So, um, here's there, a question. There are some people that genuinely possess divination power. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's, it's probably magic. Do you think it's... Here's a question. Do you think it's some kind of magic? <laughs> it's, like, like, it's not illusion magic, so why he's just like, whatever. I've studied some divination magics, but there are some people that are just naturally gifted. They're witches. Burn them. It's a witch. There are some people that have either been innately born with it, or situations have given them a capacity beyond some very learned wizard. Maybe it's Maybelline. So, there is a possibility, if not a likelihood, that the rest of this reading could be accurate and, and bear fruit. This could purely be coincidence, or it could be part of a, of a, of a greater prophecy. It may There's be only worth... going to be one way of finding out. Yeah, it may be worth letting this play out and see what this band of um, merry men... I was able to accomplish. I believe that's a good good plan, especially if you can find some more of these sorts of things. I could uh, I could do with something like this in my collection. Uh, well, you know, first things first. Uh, we have a uh, we have an agreement. Let's see uh, let's see what your uh, companions managed to managed to produce. Is there anything else? Have you got anything else for me? Jeez, that's not enough. No damn man. He's not one for messing around. I'm getting that. In, in uh, his full full state, he's not the conversationalist that you're used to with no. Uh, I will mention the uh, uh, icky stick. Uh, so that'll be that darkened staff that you foolishly grabbed. Foolish. I mean, you say foolish, I say brave. But <laughs> yeah. Be a dick about that, sure. That glove's on. <laughs> One. <laughs> I wore a condom, it was fine. <laughs> One does not get to my age by making foolish risks. Sit good. back, learn more, before jumping in hands first. Be good to your mother. When did they get to me? But that said, <laughs> if you can get that up here, sneak it away from your uh, odd-looking companion. Not that one, the other one. Yeah, you're really going to have to narrow that down. <laughs> I'm fairly certain the big one sleeps in his armor. It's so weird. Like when I say pajamas, odd, dude. When I say odd-looking one, I mean the one that has many odd looks. 
The elf. Uh, everyone. I feel like he has many odds. I, I feel like everyone's <laughs> playing an int- intellect fucking zero character. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do that next time? Because it'll be like. The all, bar- the, 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 the all <laughs> barbarian party. We'll, we'll all like focus on uh, on constitution. <laughs> Dumpstat everything else. We'll play, we'll play a rugby team. <laughs> <laughs> well, barbarians and fighters. I don't know. We all have to play all like yo. Oh, still wizards. <laughs> wizards and warlocks, <laughs> just with. Whole pile of uh, <laughs> constitution <laughs> and no intellect or charisma. The dumbest wizard in the world. No, no I am the dumbest wizard in the world. <laughs> I really want to do that now. It's going to be funny. <laughs> I think it'd be funny to do an all bard party, but it's all you're all strength and, and dex base with well, no you charisma. Could, you could do so, it. So and all, you're a punk band. We're all wrestlers, basically. No, you got the the strength base. He's the drummer. Yeah. Right. You got the 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 um the lead vocals. He's charisma. And with all the different um, Le- guitar is Dex. All the different schools of uh, of bard means you can actually make it pretty oh. pretty thorough. You can be the Ramones. Oh, uh, a, a girl at work. Um, she's playing a game. They wanted to do an all necromancer party, like just like all like it, it goth Sp- spooky. Like skeletons. we're all shot to the party, like like shot to the table wearing like all goth clothes, just as a one shot, and just like all be necromancers for one session. Fighting, uh, kill something, and then they're fighting over the corpse. Well, no, it's mine. <laughs> really, a, there is a certain point where enough people have died that you can just raise a skeleton each and you'll be done. Even as party members. Yeah. So anyway. So yeah, if you where were we? If you if you can sneak that uh that stuff get that sneak that staff away from uh, uh he, and he does heavy air quotes hobgoblin because he saw you running. Yeah. In Away from the angel, form. I would have thought he'd be more interested in the angel than the hobgoblin. But you know, uh, yeah. Incidentally, obviously, like warlock in tune with dark powers. Did you pick up on exactly what he made a pact with? Because dude creeps me out a little bit. He's useful. Get that. Get get that. The whole party's useful. I'm into it. But um, I mean, if you know, sure, it's the fan. Would like to know what I'm working against here. Any 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 insight on that? Thing Weaknesses. Gotta, thing you got to remember about warlocks is their patrons, the ones they get their power from, tend to make sure that their investment stays alive. Yeah, yeah. Which can be useful. Yeah. Okay. It's not true in the other game. The <laughs> librarian's kind of a dick. He also invested a fair amount of time. He yelled at me for no reason last I, time. I mean, I mean, in if fairness, Avatar yelled at you for no reason last time. Avatar, my dick. Like, I remember, <laughs> I, I remember listening to your first encounter with the librarian. That was kind of justified about him being a bit of a dick to you. Oh, there's been, there's been another encounter oh, more recently. Yeah, he's only, no, he's only backed that. that up since. <laughs> he was just, he was just mean. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, uh, I couldn't. Couldn't tell you who his patron is. I genuinely don't know. Yeah, hasn't right. been the focus of my interest currently. Fair enough. If you get if you get any sort of read on it, I wouldn't mind just out of you know background information. Uh the staff, I really don't know. I really don't want to be around that thing too much. Go to the tree. If I at all get the, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm, hear, I'm hearing sorry. a voice. I'm hearing a voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's saying go go to three. I just would have thought if you want a staff that's made from a tree, go to the tree and get another staff. No, I, don't, I don't. I don't want. But um, to, hang on to clarify that for our listening audience, because <laughs> apparently that was a point of contention after the game last time. I don't want the staff. Mm. Why? Why you specifically wants to destroy the staff? He doesn't want to own the staff. He wants the staff to go the fuck away, because mm. that is magic heroin, and <laughs> that doesn't sound like a fun time. And Narlag wants to turn into drugs now. Because you know, magic heard heroin. you say magic <laughs> heroin, <laughs> and he just heard <laughs> heroin magic. <laughs> I've only been dealing in magic meth. This is a real <laughs> step up. Oh, really, this is just like magic I'm, heroin. I'm, I'm, I'm or uncomfortable with magic it. heroin. It's all the way you do the accent on the on the on the sentence completely changes the context. Uh, I'm, I'm more comfortable with magic cocaine than I am with magic heroin. Uh, magic um, meth. I'm glad you drew a line somewhere. Yeah, mm. yeah, it's understandable. 
Because we were calling it magic cocaine in the first session, and then we started calling it magic meth, and we was like, but cocaine is more fun. True. And you lose less teeth. Yeah. Anyway. And those are the, pe the and those, ladies and gentlemen, are the perks of <laughs> cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that missing septum. That's something to worry about later. Uh, uh, okay. Um, if you can sneak that stuff to me, that'd be very handy for my collection as well. Uh, yeah. Look, to be honest, pretty much anything that we come across that is going to be useful in defeating Strahd is probably going to wind up getting tucked away here. I, I imagine this is the safest place for anything like that. Well, it's prevented him so far from even knowing that I'm still alive. He doesn't know you're alive? I don't expect so. Otherwise, I wouldn't expect to still be so. Yeah, okay. I assume it was more of a, um, you know, drive you insane and then leave you here and sort of laugh at you kind of deal. You think she's just dead? Well, he stabbed me and threw me down a waterfall. Hmm. Uh. He's a bit of a bitch. Yeah, I've he got don't, he don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> what? Just step <laughs> over that one. Just step, step, over, step that over that one. I dare Just you. Just keep going. <laughs> step over that one. <laughs> oh, fuck you. That song's going to be on my head for a week again. Oh. Wait, that's a song? Yep. Re really? Yeah, really. I, yeah. I don't think I've ever heard that before. This is, no. No? Yeah, no, okay. No. Let's just keep anyway, going. Dig, uh, so you're there. Rin, you found your way to the shop that was mentioned, which was called Blinsky's. Blinsky's. And here we are, at Blinsky's. It's a bar. Not everything's a bar. Damn you kids! <laughs> well, you've kind of got that sort of mindset at the moment, because you're looking at sort of probably the most colourful storefront you've seen in this place. It's a toy store. The sign out the front is it says Blinsky's and it's got the um, like a shape of like a jester's cap, three point jester's cap with little bells over the edge, of, like carved out of wood, but over the edge of the the hanging sign. Oh god, this Blinsky character is gonna be something. Oh, oh no! I imagine Ryan's he's got some be... existential dread going on right now. Good. I... <laughs> I imagine he's gonna be like the jester minion from Overlord. Ringo's in the store. Uh... <sighs> I'm tempted to just go home now. This is going to be painful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You open the, the store door and um, inside, there's, there's, it's lit up by a few a few candles around. And This is actually something that's written out in the book. Yep. He's reading it off. Oh, wow. I what? thought this was some dumb bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it can still be some dumb bullshit. Um, that's up to you, though. Looking well. around the room, you see a lot of sort of handcrafted dolls, um, some, some marionettes and, and puppets. Um, you also see a couple of like, um, smaller, like hand painted, fairly, fairly good construction, like rocking horses. Um, it's got all the, all the makings of uh, like a pretty well stocked toy store. Uh, is there a guy behind the counter or something like that? Um, as you said, as the door closes, you hear a little bell over the top of the door. As the, as the door closes, you're sort of announcing your entrance. A stealth. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, and you sort of greeted by this sound of Welcome friends to the house of Blinsky Where happiness and smiles are, can be bought at bargain prices Perhaps you know a little child in need of joy A little toy for a girl or boy And that is written down Including oh, the way of God. saying it And you are greeted by this image yeah, I don't like him. Oh, uh, shit's gonna get real weird. Uh, I, don't, I don't like him at all. And is nowhere near as fun as the the Overlord Jester. <laughs> <laughs> just, just do it. You know he's gonna be evil. Oh yeah, no idea. He makes like toys for children. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, he's fucking the most home evil. invader. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's the most evil of them all. Voyeur. Home invader, illegal surveillance, steal steals food. Um, like I don't I'm know. Pretty sure that food's he has pretty a coal mine. He does have slave labor. Mm. Yeah, slave labor. Hello, Blinsky. Mm, I have yeah. come to patronize your shop. <laughs> you see, a shop is <laughs> <laughs> in all senses of the word. <laughs> 
I do not often engage in mercantile endeavors, so this is new to me. I would like to purchase a thing. (laughs) 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 Trying to match his energy. I'll try to get back into the mindset, because <laughs> that's a difficult one to get hit into. Okay. For whom are you buying you know, the, the, the wonders of joys of toys? I am I am looking for a flute for myself. Do you have a flute? Can I buy a flute? He sort of gestures like this. I kind of a shelf up the top there. It is like, there is a collection of like, uh, of, uh, t- of tin whistles, like the little, uh, the little ones that look like, sh- um, shells just with like a hole cut in, in each side um, then you've got like a wooden slide, slide whistle as well as a couple of the metal metal versions like, like, like before and what is for all intents and purposes a recorder I want a recorder <laughs> because that is probably going to be the least obnoxious noise out of those three choices what <laughs> you've heard what a recorder sounds yeah, like yeah I know right? so you can understand what the other three are going to sound like oh, and it's not cross bones <laughs> oh, cross bones <laughs> yeah I was about to say that's going to be the only song it's, going to it's the only song anyone knows on that thing <laughs> and he's sort of gesturing he's sort of like doing this as you're looking up yes that is what I'm looking for I would like one please which one would your your the 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 one the one not the metal, the wooden one on the end there. Oh, you see, you see him sort of like pulls a little uh, step ladder away um, out out from behind the the counter and sort of hoists his weight up the thing there and pulls down this sort of you know a wooden flute at the best and the sort of <laughs> cloud of dust off it. It's like oh, what am I getting into with this fucking guy? <laughs> Okay, now you need to go and bring me five children. <laughs> this flute will help. <laughs> do the little uh, the little sound that Willy Wonka does. Yes. <laughs> Oompa come out. Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. How much would would such an item cost me? This is like <laughs> Rin is not used to buying things. Oh no, you don't pay with money here. <laughs> <laughs> we pay with laughter and happiness. Laughter and happiness. <laughs> Give us your laughter and happiness. <laughs> oh no no. Uh, a, si- a simple golden coin across my palm to uh, to enjoy this. Does it have to be coated in blood? I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop on this one, Ryan. I got a bad feeling. <laughs> I'm sorry, disappointed voice. I don't know why there will be blood on this coin. I, I, th- I, I thought this was just going to be a weird little side color thing, and now you showed me like a guy from the book, and I don't know what to make of it. It is more than a tiny bit terrifying. I have a gold his, coin. The, the, his monkey looks like the Punisher. A little bit. Either that or... Um, uh, I believe it's a Marak. Macaque. Or Phantom of the Opera. That would only be if half the face was white. Yeah, yeah, true. Uh, I go through my little, like, bindle thing of belongings and pull out a golden coin. Oh my god, its name is Piccolo. Sorry, I just have to say that. It's not reading. No, I'm looking up the picture. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's on the picture. Okay. Um, you, uh, so you, he's, like, holding his hand out there. Place it in his hand. And then he sort of flips it a couple of times just like just like and then catches it again and the, the monkey sort of runs down his arm and it's like grabs a coin and then hisses at you <laughs> scratches you wildly you're dead it's still a monkey it's still a monkey you got the deadly Motaba virus damn it I was going to say don't do that <laughs> right. yes is that outbreak outbreak yeah, yeah fuck <laughs> Uh, he sort of like runs back up his arm and then sort of jumps from his shoulder to the uh, to the counter and drops a coin into a into a nice. fantastic volley nice. work. <laughs> <laughs> in, I was about to say into a jar on top of the countertop. <laughs> Just helping out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fucking awesome. He's like, Hoo-hoo, sales. It's always fun. Oh. Um, Please tell anything- Nar like about this guy. <laughs> <laughs> anything else that? Uh, well, I, I would, I, I would like, I would like the item that I believe I just purchased. Oh, of, 
Sorry, I probably. <laughs> <laughs> I was too busy being whimsical. <laughs> I forgot what my fucking job is! <laughs> <laughs> oh, for that, I go and fly across my partner. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, sorry, I just was, was using that part. I didn't have to describe the part of exchanging goods for items. <laughs> Look, you made such a big fucking deal about the taking the gold coin part. I thought was, I'm waiting for this guy to be like, no, now you need to give me blood. <laughs> For the for the low low cost of cost of one gold coin and your immortal soul. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's gone. Right. <laughs> but yeah, he's like, hands it hands it over and it was packs it up into a little ca- like a little case with like a like a cloth interior and then just drops it down, puts it puts the thing uh, the lid back on and sort of hands over this boxed up musical instrument for you. And as a as I was saying, please partake of my other wares and have a and uh, see if anything you could bring joy to any children or folk. Oh, this yeah. look at the rest of his shop. That's going to be surely that's going to be awesome. It's going to be just filled with like kids' bodies or something. Like that. I don't know. <laughs> it's an entire department <laughs> store of Chucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the eyes following you in unison. Yeah. Uh, I'll like sort of sto- stop reading. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I'll stow that flute away. I guess in your bindle. In my bindle. I just like the word bindle. Yeah, it's fun. Give me a perception roll. <laughs> okay. Because you're, you're so awkward in here. Oh, I got a good one. You didn't roll a zero. I got a, I got a really good perception as well. Uh, 24. Amongst the, 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 the collections of like various different dolls and uh, bits and pieces, you start to see... Oh no. Uh, other sort of features that are sort of hidden. You know, it's not hidden, but they don't immediately jump out. It doesn't look like the newer stock, or it doesn't look like uh, stuff that's sort of prominently on display, like there's a poi miniature gallows, including a trapdoor and a weighted hanged man. That is a toy. That's pretty cool, I'd have that. There's a set of wooden nesting dolls, like the um the bushka and dolls. A, the, the bushka dolls, where they're, they're, they're sort of laid out, but and you sort of just you saw them before and it's like, oh there's a you know, some nesting dolls. Now looking at the designs, the the, the as the smaller and smaller one um, Goes it uh, as as I get smaller and smaller, it the image gets older and older to the like, to the very last one looks like a mummified corpse. Augustus would love this place. He would. No, it's got like a very Morgan and place. Yeah. feel about this. Yeah. Harry Potter, the dark art, uh, the, the 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 dark shop, the 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 bad guy shop. Yeah, the bad one with the the the, the, the hand of glory and the diagonally. Uh, why do I even know that name off the top of the on quick recollection? You're a geek. Cool man. Um, he eats chicken. You, you, uh, above, you see some um, wooden uh, models of like bats that are on like on strings, and like you can see, you know, those ones where you like pull the middle and they, 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 they yeah. sort of do the slow thing. It's those sorts of ones. Usually, it's birds. It's usually it's birds, but these ones here are bats. One other thing that uh, one thing that particularly grabs your attention is there is a ventriloquist dummy oh no <laughs> that is quite well made it's, it's and you're to... fairly sure when you walked in its head was pointing in a different direction <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, um it's <laughs> welcome to my shop <laughs> uh it's it's in there it's got like um the hair is done really well it's like it's slicked back it's got the other uh, the point is with point is widow's peak in its uh, in its hairline what what? It looks like Narlag? No. Um, it's got it's sort of like a fine sort of red vest on, covered by a black a long cloak. What? A, I'm, I'm enraptured in the world that you're creating here, dude. A, what are you a, looking at me a, for? It's a, it's, a, it's a Dracula vamp, uh, a ventriloquist dummy. Does it look like a Dracula? I don't know what it looks like. Does it look like a Dracula? No. Does it look like a Dracula? Does it have a Dracula? Does it have faints? It looks like the dummy version of that. So it's a Dracula. Have I seen that before? (laughs) That's Strahd, isn't it? (laughs) Yeah. Not that you know what he looks like. Actually, no, you wouldn't know. You you would have a minor idea of what he looks like because all the coinage in this area has his head on it. Hmm. Uh, I'll, 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 uh, you, you, you have some curious items in this store. 
uh, Mr. Mr. Brinsky. Brinsky? Brinsky. Blinsky. Blinsky. What what is what is the meaning of, of that of that dummy over there? Well, that's no dummy, that's my wife. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. He has a wife, you know. <laughs> well, we I guess we couldn't go too far without a Monty Python quote. We Cheers. can never go too far without Python. Okay. Let's see how he lands on the side of what? That whole deal. What? 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 What, 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 what did you do? <laughs> oh, no. What did you kick off? I've unleashed some kind of eldritch abomination. <laughs> it's my job, damn it. Just start wrecking up this store. Just, I'm just gonna just start spinning with my staff, smashing everything. <laughs> Go find Narlag to nuke it. <laughs> Could you could you maybe cast that that kill everything spell on this place? Maybe. I have two spells that damage things. One of them is complete nuke, but the other one is tiny <clears throat> damage. Ah, uh, that one there is to entertain people during the uh, during the festivals. It is a caricature of our good lord Strad. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> You're meant to. Thank you for the compliment of my work. How 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 much for for the ventriloquist dummy? Oh, um, that one's not for sale. That one is. How much for the <laughs> ventriloquist dummy? Perhaps if you'd like to commission one, I would gladly put one together for you. <laughs> I'm just picturing going back to the rest of the party, <laughs> Rin carrying a, a, a dummy strut. Hey, look what I got! <laughs> It turns out material items are awesome. <laughs> Press the digitation fire. <laughs> uh, this is for me when I um, when I go out to entertain the children and the people of showing what a joke everything is. I gotta tell you, Ryan, I got no idea what to make of this fucking guy. <laughs> I feel like if the entire party was here, we probably would be destroying your shop. This is some weird shit. Um, but yeah, beyond beyond that, you also see sort of behind behind these um his shop counter is sort of like a, a small workshop bench area where where he's working on new stock. And there is a basically a, a, a few dolls that are part way through construction. They're different to the rest of the ones you've seen around the shop. These ones they look like they are being modelled after someone in particular, but you don't know who. Um, a couple of the, a couple of the ones um, actually have already. Already had some of the hair implanted and everything, um, and he's got sort of longer dark hair. Um, there's been some clothing made up for some of them as well. Uh, a couple of them are made up in fineries of state, and other ones have been made up in sort of uh, like one's been made up for like a white dress. Yeah, there's, a, there's several different ones there. Do I recognize any of them to look like people that I have met in my time in the town? I don't believe. Actually, roll me a wisdom. Ooh. Check to see if you've because you spent a little bit of time yeah yeah in the before the group met. Well, I rolled a twenty. They look very much like someone you've seen go through the town square. So that's someone in the town. Uh, I will ask him wh why why are why are you making making dolls of people from the town, Blinsky? Oh, that is a that is an order that I've, that I've placed. I want to roll insight on him. Okay. I want to see if he's evil, Ryan. Can I see if he's evil? <laughs> you can certainly try. He's just creepy. I rolled a 20 just now. On some bullshit. Uh, an insight check. Okay. Uh, 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 22. 22? Uh, on a scale of 1 to evil, how evil is he? I want to examine his intentions and whether he is above board. Or whether there is some shady shit going on here. How shady? What do you can tell from that? He's not been lying to you. He's just a weirdo. <laughs> we, spent, we spent a lot of time here, and I don't want to just be like, thank you, bye, and walk out. Given there seems to be text if you want to, um, to him. It, With that role there, if you want to add uh, like, a pro, uh, like a question in particular, you want to sort of ask about it, and I'll, I'll run off the insight. Essentially, we'll have that insight role stand. As you ask a couple of questions, and you'll and I'll let you know if he's lying or anything like that as you go along. Basically, you've you've rolled well there, but you've asked him, you know, why he's been making that. And he goes, 
it's it's an order. It's a commission. What would Rin do? What would Rin do? Rin doesn't care. <laughs> That's the problem. R- Ross really fucking cares. Rin does not. Rin's gonna well, be like, I got my flute. <laughs> Good luck with a baby day. Day. I'm out. <laughs> Wash oh. your hands when you're done. Well, Rin can always just tell everyone else about the creepy jester guy that's selling weird toys. Actually, yeah, that's probably what I'll do now. I'll just, I've will just i got my thing, and I'm just like, okay, s- strange fellow, goodbye, and he walks out. Have the happiest of festivals out there. Okay. He just keeps going. Well, the, the, bell, just, the bell rings as the no, that, 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 that was the thing. I was engaged in this whole fucking thing. It's like, Rin doesn't fucking care. He's leaving. He's done. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, I enjoy that a lot. All right. It's evening at this point now. The um, the, the, the festival of the whatever this week's one it was called. Um, festival of the week. Is is basically underway. There, um, there are lots of... The Feast of Maximum Occupancy. <laughs> There's like little candlelight sort of strung uh, strung between posts around around the middle middle square. Uh, there are uh, several villages and everything uh, that are setting up a kind of like a straw man blazing no, no, blazing man sort of whole deal. There's gonna, so they're going to burn. There's a, there's, a, there's a bonfire that's right. going to be set off at, at one point. And they're sort of <laughs> setting up for it. We're yeah. going through a lot of wicker. Yeah, they're doing it every week. Fuck. Uh, what was your plans? Um, Were you I'll start probably gathering go, people back up again. I'll see what the general usefulness of the um, people the guy has to defend the church, and then I'm probably go back and notify the rest of the party that there's a bit of a a light brawl might happen this evening, and uh, it'd be useful to have their help. Easy. You've managed to work out there's probably only maybe two like fighting level people within the within the church aside from the the, the 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 father of the church will defend his defend his lands and everything like that, but he's not he's not a warrior that's um he'd be a cleric to right <laughs> <laughs> for those at home ryan just mind throwing in some dice <laughs> and i'm mind flinching <laughs> um yeah so <laughs> the, the, the father of the, of the church will defend his defend his as area much as, as much can, as he yeah. can, but he, yeah, he's not not a fighting man. Yeah. He's not a paladin. And this is what I was sent here to do. Irina will pull, pick up a sword and fight as well. She's, that's about it, really. When you got that, and maybe one one or two of the refugees could swing a piece of metal at things, but they're not fighters. Yeah, it's okay. They have me. Um, <laughs> Such a cheeky dick. <laughs> so yeah, it's at this point, you know. Suns, suns begin to go down, and these guys are sort of realizing at this point that things could get dire soon. Father's like, they've usually struck around around the middle of the night. And uh, it hadn't occurred to me to ask this before, but why have they just started attacking now? Like it seems like certain defenses have wavered. Your faith? Uh, well, no, young man, I can help with that. No, my faith is as strong as ever, but. There have been defences on this, these grounds that aren't effective anymore. Do you need me to bolster them? I, potentially, I'm pretty but let's strong. Get, let's I can, get, like, potentially, but let's get through the night. You can lift a chair over your head. Yeah. I could like push against whatever it is to like, <laughs> keep it upright. Let's get through the night and see what we can do about proper defences. All right. Well, yeah, I, I, need, uh, I need some exercise. Some exercise in the church. That seems like an exercise. Mm-hmm. It kind of is. So you're gonna g- gather up the troops. Well, ideally, like, uh, yeah, if these guys are back. <laughs> well, well, I never, we never left the town. At least we never left the town. He's yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it would be really useful to have some kind of timeline. Like, timeline wise, it's a it's still a while before why you actually ends up in Mort, uh, Mordenkainen's mm. mansion. So he's at this point here. He's still wandering in circles. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, I, I feel like I'm making progress, though. It, it, it might have been useful to have, say, an amulet that like helped turn on dead and stuff like that, but that's fine. Yeah. Um, okay. The wall turning on dead help. <sighs> Continue. Just keep going. Ignore it. 
No, no, I'm sorry. I'm worried if I breathe in at this point, I'll get infected with stupid. <laughs> uh, oh, don't worry, that happens. <laughs> You're already infected. Alright. Uh, um, it's too late, man. <laughs> at this point, yeah, if you want to gather up the troops, you can start uh, basically making your way. You know where he, set, he was setting up. He's made yeah. his plans very, very clear. They're on where you've ended up. And, and he's basically getting Dave to do a light show. Yeah. It's like shooting beams into the sky. You really have no issues with flashing a fucking baby beholder around a town of oh, people no, like, that are scared of shit. Dave's just sort of like sitting on top oh. of the car out of sight and just going Pew, laser Pew, show Pew, at the top. Pew. Yes. Uh, yeah, I walk over and say, um, you, salesman guy and your eye thing, come on, we've got to fight vampires. You don't remember his name, do you? <laughs> I don't <laughs> <laughs> My name is Narlag, and uh, w what was that? But vampires, you said? Yeah, there are vampires over here. Come on. Very well. How much money have they made so far? Ooh, let's have a look. How many people have you infected with <laughs> dire ichor? <laughs> so far, you've made eighty. Fuck yeah. yeah! Yeah, let's go. Remember, of course, you're gonna have 50 of that over anyway. 30 gold profit. Does he really, though? Like, the guy seemed like a bit of a bitch. I just rolled really high on those dice as well. <laughs> um, Alright. So, where would you find yourself at early evening? Uh, After your thrilling experience in the toy shop. Uh, Ren's probably, like, sitting, like, in the middle of a town square somewhere. I should have named him Jeffrey. Jeffrey. My name's <laughs> Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Wait, why Jeffrey? Jeffrey. Toys R Us uh, mascot, the, the giraffe is called Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. I think you something else. It's a good one, though. <laughs> Jeffrey. Uh, Rin is oh, sitting... Jeff. Oh, Jeffrey. Oh, Jeffrey. <laughs> uh, Rin is sitting, like, in the, middle, in the middle of a town square somewhere, and he's, he's playing his flute. He's playing his flute. Do you want me to make a roll for how well he plays his flute? I want a performance roll. I have proficiency in flutes. Oh no! Do you? Oh yeah. god! <laughs> I'm actually, you like the the pamphlet from A Bug's Life? No. Uh, it's like the yeah. the, the party music. I've not seen Bug's Life. What? What? How have you not seen A Bug's Life? What? By not having invested an hour and a half of my life into watching A Bug's Life. It's all right. That was literally how. It's okay. It's not like anything fantastic. This is also he would have been in his twenties when that movie came out. So. Yeah. The movie came out when I was all like of six. Us, all of so you guys would have been yeah. like teenagers. Yeah. <laughs> the fun <laughs> roll. So a fun little era where, era where you're, you're just a little bit too old to watch the kids' movies and a little bit too young to watch the kids' movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it averages out to a plus two of mm -hmm. performance. Mm -hmm. Another seven. So you guys, we're we're on some like the we the, are having shit the, rolls today. Mm. The song I was rolling like Actually, fucking yeah, fire with the that was fucking the <laughs> toy What's store? wrong with it? He's a toy maker who enjoys making toys for pe making people happy. And quite Why clearly, is everyone so upset by this guy? Do you not hear what you're saying right now? <laughs> He's also quite clearly made a pact with some kind of horror. I hate him. Clearly, right <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> Made a pact, or right. I don't know, is tried to pay his way through life by continuing his craft despite these dire times. And so anyway, so like, Rin, 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 Rin is, Rin is sitting there. Him, yeah. He's so. trying to do that, like that, that like Japanese like meditation flute sort of thing. Right. But it's not coming out good. It's sounding more like the bit in Ocarina of Time where you're trying to play the songs, but oh, you and you think. It's sort of like that. That's what it, he's like. I, I walk over to you and say, yeah, no, he's um, trying to play hot crossbones. Awkward monk man. Uh, come on, we need your help fighting some you vampires. Don't, you don't know my name, do you? <laughs> uh, no. Come on, let's go. We've got to fight some vampires. <laughs> Just keep it into the bit. Like, <laughs> he turns back and keeps playing his flute. Come on, Rin. we got vampires to fight. I think he's going to need to remember my name before I go. It's Rin. You only know that because he just said it. <laughs> yes. That doesn't count. <laughs> that is true, yes. I actually legitimately... You're also slowly slipping right into Rin. <laughs> Rin's voice. <laughs> I actually can't even remember my own fucking name right now. What the, I, Ulrich. Yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah Ulrich. 
Uh, okay, and he'll pick up his bowl and his bindle, and he'll continue on next to you. He's still playing his flute, though. Good man. Let's go. Okay. It's bad as well. It's gotten worse because he's not sitting down anymore. I'm probably <laughs> going dead. Because you got to... I've got to try to keep the feet... Ooh. Like, he has proficiency in flute, but I, I imagine he hasn't had one for a hundred years. So he's trying to figure it out again. Mm. And it's a recorder, not a flute. He's calling it a flute. No, like, sort of just gets rid of the holes for his ears. <laughs> Done. That is quite terrible. I assume you'll get better at it. That is the idea. <laughs> oh, I love every bit of that. That's what you get from a low, low performance roll, I guess. All right. So you make your way to the uh, the church and um and the. We haven't actually fought vampires yet, have we? Also, have we had a short rest yet? I can call you for ten. Yeah. You sitting in your cart? No, actually, no. You wouldn't be no, resting at that point. No, you haven't. haven't. Fuck. Yeah. Or actually, fuck. I don't actually... know if it's been a spell. I don't think it. Oh, that's probably yeah. We got some time. It's like an hour. We got some time before it's, midnight, right? It's... Yeah, you got time before midnight. If you guys want to rest up uh, in the I church. Long rest though, but yeah, okay. Uh, short rest will do. Have to do. You make your way into the church, and the um, the priest is sort of eyeing you guys over. as like, you got interesting uh, friends, young father. Ah, uh, yes, uh, father. This is. Uh, I understand some of the mine. implication from what you just said, then, and I do not appreciate it. And then he continues on his flute. This awkward monk person. His name is Rin, and um. He's, uh, he's good with his hands. Um, I don't <laughs> <laughs> he, he's good at punching things. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, never mind that abomination. Um, but in front of him is um, a Mr. Prosgino. Hi, call me now. <laughs> <laughs> he extends a hand out to him then. And you're gonna get your wizard you friend to like, teleport have your, you into a church. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ah, don't normally have. Yeah, that's happening. <laughs> uh, don't normally have your sort of <coughs> in this area. Yes, yeah, so I've, I've found that. Uh, well, uh, I usually try to travel alone most of the time, but uh, my people tend to stay away from areas where there's mostly only humans. Well, so long as you're. Uh, Protecting the flock, I couldn't care. Fair enough. I met a very disconcerting gentleman earlier today. He was even more strange than you, Narlak. You what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've been waiting to say what for a little while, haven't you? I have. <laughs> I tell you what. Boy. There were there was a toy toy salesman. He had he had a a a a a strange uh, dummy version of Strahd in his store. It was very strange. That is very weird. It was. Is there anything else you can tell me about him? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're going to have to go and find out for yourself. I, I was, it was intriguing for a moment, and then I realized that I did not care. <laughs> <laughs> Good story. <laughs> uh, here... <laughs> I would like you to meet this woman who is going to help us guard. You don't remember anybody's name. <laughs> really How can you introduce people? <laughs> I'm literally By pointing just and saying this is a person you should meet. Yeah, I'm just saying this woman will help. Why us are guard we us. role playing awkward social <laughs> situations? <laughs> Isn't that like ninety percent of our lives? <laughs> this is meant to be escapism. <laughs> You see this um, this uh, woman sort of get up from the from the far um, from the far side of the church, um, with her apparently nameless introduction, um, and, and turns turns to face you. Uh, you feel like you've seen her somewhere before. Oh, isn't that a coincidence? Where? What? How? <laughs> Roll me a wisdom check. Twelve. 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 Has a pretty good likeness to the dolls Blinsky's was, Blinsky was making. It's also the girl that you've seen in this in the square before. The strange man making dolls made a doll of you. He had it in his shop. It was very strange. And she sort of looks at you like, "What are you talking about?" The toy maker. He was making dolls of people. One of them was of you. Right. I thought it strange at the time, but then 
I didn't really care. <laughs> Good story. Let's go and check this out afterwards. Why would Blinsky be making a doll of me? I don't know the customs of your strange town. I assume that it was something that you backwards humans do for fun or whimsy or boredom or <laughs> sexual proclivities. <laughs> <laughs> Explain to me how big was the doll? Was it? We're talking just like <laughs> we're talking like that was funny. I thought it was going to be We're talking like fifteen centimeters high, or we're talking real doll proportions? Somewhere in the middle. <laughs> so, madam, uh, what was your name? Irina. Thank you. Yes, I am not. Irina, that's exactly what I said. Let us continue <laughs> with the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you folks uh, with Ulrich? Ulrich? Yes. <laughs> yes. I probably have like a huge like name just written in front of like, my. My, na- oh, yeah. <laughs> my name is Ulrich. But yeah. it's Bedazzled so across yeah. your breast. It's, yeah, it's yeah. written so when you go on this, you can read it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> can he read? Probably. Yeah. His own name. Yeah. He's read he's read the Bible. Yeah. Uh he probably can't read his own name because that's not written in the Bible. Yeah. Actually I'm pretty sure Ulrich is probably somewhere in the Bible. It might be in the Martian Bible. It might be in the Martian Bible. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's never like I stop sounding weird. Um uh, Cult Mechanicus. Yes, so Was that strange that there is a doll being made of you in the toy store? I thought it was odd. Incredibly so. Perhaps we should investigate that later. Yes. Yes. Yeah, now might be a bit of a miss. Step, yeah. Yeah, miss step on that. <laughs> like, um, we're just going to go somewhere else. Bye. Bye. <laughs> As you walk out, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, the vampires. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> walk, walk out, just hear smash, smash, smash. It's like, just hear, like, shriek, shrieking and the sound of, like, viscera hitting walls. And it's, it, it, I feel it, like we're forgetting something. <laughs> it's a whole is, Sam Raimi sort of whole thing. The thing is, would we actually care? Uh, like, you the fuck definitely well, would. Well, yeah, okay, they are vampires. Yeah. For several reasons. You're a paladin for a start. If yeah, conquest or not. If you don't yeah, There's no point having conquest <laughs> of a place that doesn't have people anymore. Yeah, true. Um... I Hell said, yeah, I, Mars, so I, yeah. I turned my father and say we did have another party member somewhere. He was useful with spells and such, but he appears to have disappeared. So he will not be of any use to us. He went off to visit a friend. It's a really short name. <laughs> I feel like three letters you'd be able to hold on. No, okay. <laughs> all right. You think I remember Rin? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Again, three letters. Wait, three you... letters and one syllable. Wait, it's, it's right in your wheelhouse. I, I thought I thought your name was Morden. That was one too few O's. That's actually my father. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, they added O for each generation. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Um, and we did have a stick that might be useful, but I don't know how. Well, sticks could be useful against vampires. I believe that's a terrible idea. No, we are not getting that stick out. This has been a handy conversation so far. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to hear a song? Is that a <laughs> it's a new, this is a new performance roll. As you can see... I rolled a 12. <laughs> is that what you rolled before? Uh, I rolled a 7. Oh, I okay, 7 before. It's slightly better. Yeah. It's slightly better. It, As you can see, holds my a friends are fully going. capable, and <laughs> we, will, we will be more than a match for whatever puny vampires attack the church. Like I'm not a part of this. But <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what and what areas just, are uh, the the key defense points we'll need to be at? What we've been doing so far and has been keeping us alive, but for however long, is basically. Plugging holes as they as they as they open. Mm. Sounds like my sex life. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Why would you do that when you know the microphone right there? That's why you said it quietly. <laughs> um, no. Not quietly enough according to the waveforms. <laughs> but no, is the essentially you've got a open space. You can see a lot of boarded up windows, and then you have got the doors. Mm. The front doors, 
Aside from that, there's mm. most uh, a bunch of the pews have already been broken up and used as pew pews. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? What time do they you usually? Me for? <laughs> what time would they usually attack, Father? <clears throat> the first sort of signals of the strike is normally bats. Bats will appear, and then they're quickly followed by. Uh, yes, the bats one. is usually a sign of evil. Okay, I stand up, like get my sword out. So to the battlements. Yes. And then look around, and realize you, no one you, else is doing you, it. You, you look around, and then you see a uh, bunch of like refugees look at you, and then you hear in the back corner. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> I, it, it doesn't phase me. I like turn around and just like yeah, like march off to the door, and but essentially just plant myself. My okay. strategy usually involves just running in and hitting things, and then notice. Yeah, and then they hit me, and usually not that much. Okay, so you're looking at about a 50 by 50 foot square area. How are you uh, setting yourselves up? You've got enough time to have a rest before setting up for the for the for any form of defence. What? Really? Uh, there is a timeline that you're I. You're a timeline. Do. I'm sorry. That was out of line. <laughs> that was out of timeline. Out of a, out of a timeline. I'll uh, set myself up in like one of the front corners sort of thing, like I'm guessing there's windows along the sides and stuff. I can sort of zip around to places. I basically choose where I think they're going to come in or where I think the weakest point is. <coughs> How long do we have shield. until the actual fight starts? You've got enough time for a short rest before setting up if that's what you're asking. Okay, cool. Um, now I realized recently I'd actually been doing my fights wrong mm -hmm. um, because I've been using my two-handed weapon with my shield because my shield um, is, is, animated. is animated but I've got to actually activate the animation specifically whereas usually I've just been going oh yeah I run in and like yeah You are activating your shield I think I've only done it once I think there's been a couple of fights where I've forgotten to Alright so layout yeah, wise, the difference is you got the, the main doors there, you've got a pretty pretty much square space there, you've got three windows down the, down each side that have been mostly boarded up, um, then two windows at the, at the far end that sort of light towards the, towards the congregation. There is a slightly raised area here where sermons and everything will be done from, and off to this side here there is a doorway that leads off the get rectory. Yes, to the rectory. Did they say what direction they usually come from? Or just all sides. Windows. All sides. Cool. 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 Um, uh, is do we think it's worthwhile making a slightly weaker spot for them so we can like essentially funnel them through the one spot? Maybe this is me saying that, not. Um, well, then I can't hear <laughs> you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> um, does any bit look particularly weak? Weaker than anything else? Uh, these two windows are larger than anything else. The, the, uh, the doors I'll are probably pretty... plant myself right here. Yep. Uh, yeah, because these these two windows were larger than any of the other six. Um, the doors are relatively well barricaded. Mm. So yeah, if they're going to come in, and be smashing the the whole. So you know the the floors are wood boarding. So there's like a gap between the the um the the, the floor and the actual dirt below, uh, and the the ceilings are quite high and just like the, like the gabled roof. Like a good church should be. Yeah, yeah. like a... Um, ha we haven't fought vampires yet, have we? No. I don't believe so. What would I know about a vampire with a religion roll of 15? They're vampires. Yeah. Uh, blood sucking can be, inf it can be infectious. Would um, I like know the usual like... Uh, thing of like yeah stake through the heart or um fear of garlic fear of crosses um or is that not substantial uh, okay. or you do know about the the stake through the heart it um it's uh, that, that it needs to be a wooden implement through the heart to, to actually incapacitate them sorry that is to finish them off but they need to have been incapacitated at that point they attack at night because they don't like the sunlight don't like the sun yeah so um, the standard. Trots. There's also rumor of them not liking running water, but you don't know whether or not that's a truth or a 
Yeah. Um, so, where are we going to funnel them in through? Well, that's the question. Do we want... Uh, or do we just wait till they come in and attack them as they come in? Well, I have something that can stop them, but I need to talk to the priest about it. I'm hoping they're not immune to frightening, they're like being frightened. They probably will be. They probably but, will be. But I, I have something that can contain them properly. So what have you got? I need to ask the priest about it, because otherwise it might be costing me too much for me. It's an expensive spell. At least relatively at the moment. We usually have access to a, an amulet that can paralyze them for like about a minute or something like that. I should up. probably cough that up and give it to the group then. Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you fucking holding that for? Yeah, I, I don't know. Right. Give it out! <laughs> so yeah, now that goes to the, the priest and he's like, uh, So, uh, do you have enough holy water I might be able to use uh, worth about 100 gold? I know it's expensive, but I can use it to trap the undead. Uh, my boy, we've been attacked most nights for more than a fortnight. My reserves of holy water are basically tapped. How long does it take to make? It's a while. Yeah. And, I, and, I and just pray over water for a while, or is it like how... It costs money. It costs money. Oh, yeah. mm. It's like 25 gold pop or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I need if, you, if you've got the money, I can just yeah. sit there and do it. Yeah. While we're waiting. Yeah, either ho I either need holy water or powdered silver and iron worth at least hundred gold, which the spell consumes. Oh wow! Yeah. How much do you need? Uh, hundred gold worth. Yeah. So that's basically four vials. And he's like, so how much do you need? Four vials of holy water. I can. What is your intentions with this? I intend to make a uh, defensive circle. Basically, any vampire that enters it will not be able to leave unless they break the spell. And I'm trying to make this as strong as possible. It'll last for two hours. I can, I can spare you with enough of that, but that leaves us with no reserves. Fair this enough. better be. We will. This better be. Better be good. I, I have somebody. I, well, somebody in mind that might be able to draw their attention. You get do the sideways. Get them, get them in the circle, as it were. Okay. You ready to be loud and shouty? I'm never loud. That's not <laughs> a huge booming voice. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you, you, see, you see, he he goes off to the um to the rectory and just comes back out with these this little uh, crate of like foil vials. It's like, don't drop any of this. This is this is the this good is stuff. It. Cool. So, um, yeah, which point on the map are we actually letting them through? Uh, while they're deciding on that there. Um, well, if those are still... Back well, up probably somewhere up here. Mansion. If we can keep that... Um, everyone kind of back here and the doors, like... Led you from his bar, chambers bar and he's taking like, you back to the... Um, every, that, like, that all room the furniture on the big sky kind of thing, pool. And we can just... And he's looking over it as like... Mm. And basically just checking in on... The, the boys. Like, how big's the circle? And like... It's ten feet. Two... And it it's like you're missing out some fun down there. This... Ryan, how, how big was the actual chapel? 50 by 50. 50 by 50. Okay. So yeah, if you just do like a circle there, I'll stand right in the middle of it and mm. just yell at them. Yeah, try and get them to attack you, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, so, um, basically, yeah, you see these two battle planning and, and bits and pieces. Rin is tooting his flute. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Well, wash your hands when you're done. <laughs> what and are they, are they renovating an old church? I think They're flipping you. houses now? I've always got something on the go that lot. Wouldn't anyway, no! I, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to see that lot fall to essentially a side quest. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... This is just a daily at best. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I get that. I wouldn't want to see it either. Uh, if you can turn the scrying call off, that would be good. <laughs> Oh, you. Uh, rolls his swag out. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, don't think I want to do that. Another fall, I think. Uh, can you roll me a, well, I guess, agility or or strength save, whichever you would prefer to do? No. <laughs> okay. Well, that's, a, that's about as opposite as they can get, really. <laughs> He's pretty good, it turns out. Because, <laughs> uh, he's noticed, straight away, he's noticed your hesitation and is like, nope. And it's pretty much like, collar, 
you're in the scrying pool, and then you're falling. This again! Not quite as far this time, because you are, you basically, you pop it back into existence. Um, in the chapel? Within the chapel. So sort of around the rafters. Do I and, need a, a specific portal or something for that, or...? It's magic, he do not going to explain shit. He, he can do what the fuck he want. <laughs> Plot device! <laughs> uh, yeah, you basically, like, erupted into being, and you guys hear an audible pop, pop sound as and a little bit of a flash of light, which, you know, startles a lot of the people around. And then you've got Wayu sort of flipping end over end in just elevated space currently before, I guess, physics catches up with him. Ah, there we go. Good man. Um, uh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try plan. for like a like a, a, a nice landing here. You can try for a nice landing, or you can try and grab hold of a rafter. You can do whatever, they, whatever you like. Uh, that's gonna be like that's about average. You're already about twenty feet off the ground. That's a seven. So you're going for a nice landing, <sighs> like like hero pose, like okay. land like landing oh, yeah. on one knee, like fist oh. into the ground, Iron Man style. Ooh. Yeah. Right. With a with a seven, I think that's the best that I can ask for. Yeah, yeah. Which you, I'm, I'm going you, for like landing on two feet. That no, ain't happening. I like the image of you draw. trying to grab a rafter and like slipping and then flipping off of that. Now a performance roll to not scream while your knees <laughs> are just destroyed. So you um you land heavily. Um, it's a three point three point landing. So you've got you know you've distributed your weight fairly yeah, really well. Yeah, it's the reason why they don't do movies. Um. But you've taken some damage in the process, so three points of damage just from because I rolled. So. Um, but yeah, you're sort of sitting there, like, <laughs> I am a mighty wizard, and I am here to save you. So, I got a flute. So far, this is uh, this is our wizard friend. Um, he disappeared not long ago, and just appears out of the sky for some reason. But uh, he'll be assisting us today. <laughs> Haven't agreed to that. First things first, someone has a new flute. And I feel like we need to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, that, we've already talked about that one. <laughs> Can I make a performance roll? Yep. I got the four. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bum, bum, bum. As you can like, see, he's been like that, like that rictus grin of someone. Like it's a, it's Christmas, and you got like your little cousin, and they're like trying to do a thing, and you're like, oh, that's wonderful, honey. That is, that is so <laughs> this is, good. It's real good. Mm. It's real good. I've always wanted a pair of socks. Um, I don't think you need to roll an insight roll on this one, man. He's not impressed. <laughs> I'm getting better, though. One would hope. <laughs> You're categorically not sassy. <laughs> sassy. It has been many hundreds of years since I have played one of these things. It is taking me some time to get the hang of it again. And this is not the uh, the Aladrin made flute that I am used to. It was made by a very creepy man. <laughs> <laughs> What, what kind of creepy? Like, what's on his face creepy? Or like, runs a doll shop creepy? <laughs> Why do you mention that? The second one. <laughs> <laughs> Literally the second one. Well, yeah, there were dolls in the shop, yes. Yes, there were. Oh, like, like actually? Yes. Oh, okay. We gotta burn that down when we're done. Yeah. 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 Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to you guys at toy shops? So what are talking about? <laughs> no, I think Toy Jeffrey. Hey, hey. Toy Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Fine. Creepy old, creepy guys with like creepy dolls in toy shops. That's no. Well, like even regular toy shop, toy shops like fucking fourteen-hour shift during the middle of the night, and toys just randomly start activating when you're walking around in there. <sighs> oh boy. Uh, okay. That that actually caused nightmares for me. Yeah, I've oh, seen yeah. those movies. Ching mm. ching ching. No. Like the the the, oh, the talking ones, the talking babies. When you go past them, they go, "Hi, I'm whatever." <laughs> <laughs> so I walk up to you and say, "So, Ryu, um, we're about to be attacked." Well, it's a combination of Ryu and Rin because uh, uh, it's actually Ken. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Hold hold on. on. Uh, are, are we actually calling him Ryu, or because like, yeah. I don't remember him actually establishing his name was Ryu? It was like I was just calling him M. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's the last that you were. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, name. 
Oh, I can remember that. Probably. More it's, order. it's one of 26. Yeah, about to get it right. So, Kay, um, we are about to be attacked by vampires. It's good timing that you came right now. Um, pick a spot, and when they come, start killing. Cool, okay. Is outside uh, taken yet? Is, um, is... That's a good idea. We should probably have someone as bait. Um, yes. <laughs> outside would, yeah, it would be fine. All right. Cool. So, uh, I take it you're If you put me outside, he's going to run away. I take it you're familiar with magic circles? Uh, I am familiar with magic and circles. circles. <laughs> so, uh, what I'm planning on doing is... Uh, He's putting... calling you circles now. <laughs> 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 so, like, yeah. Um, now like goes through the plan of, like, putting a circle in the... You know, over near the weak windows and, like, getting uh, Ulrich in the center and, like, sort of just shouting at enemies to get them over there. Mm-hmm. Um, any enemies that don't really go in there we try and force in there because they will not be able to leave that circle at all if we need to evacuate that circle we can do so and can just they, leave them in there can they be pushed into the circle once you have established it yes yes, and they will not be able to leave it that's your wheelhouse <laughs> whip whip <laughs> I can push people with with mm. hits with hits mm. wow like this is... we like might have a plan going here yeah I'm like, impressed so now I gets to casting that and then has his short rest. Alright. Yeah. So what's the casting time on it? One minute. Oh good. Yeah. There's no it's like it's a ten hour ritual. Like, yeah. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> it's one minute and it lasts for two hours. Fucking fortunately, because that's I'm, huge. Yeah. Ooh. But because I'm taking a short rest, which is one hour, like, I was like, ah oh, fuck. If it was the one level lower, it only last one hour. Okay. Okay. Uh, in that vein of planning ahead, mm-hmm. I will also take the original option to cast Tiny Hut. Oh, yeah. And anyone that is a non combatant can get in the Tiny Hut. Get in the hut! Get in the fucking hut! <laughs> okay, so we got this. Get in my hut! <laughs> Lionel Huts. Uh, does your protection circle have any sort of visual element to it, or is it sort of a. It does. Uh, um. So you create a 10 foot radius, 20 foot tall cylinder of magical energy centered on a point on the ground that you can see within range. Mm-hmm. Glowing runes appear wherever the c- cylinder inter- intersects with the floor or other surface. Okay. Choose one or more of the following types of creatures, celestials, elementals, blah, blah, blah. Um, choosing fiends and undead. Mm-hmm. Um, a creature cannot, well, a creature cannot willingly leave the cylinder by non-magical means. If it wants to leave it by magical means, it has to pass a DC check. Creature has disadvantage on attack rolls against tar- oh, against targets outside of the cylinder, mm-hmm. and targets within the cylinder, so targets outside of the cylinder can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by it. I love that. Like D and D has to get so rules lawyery and specific down that a magic circle has to get described as a cylinder. Good work, geeks. <laughs> Thank you for stripping all flavor from the world. <laughs> okay. So, if anyone, look, you were doing uh, Tiny Hut, Tiny Hut lasts for like 8 hours, wasn't it? Uh, hours? Yeah, that is 8 hours, that is a 11 minute casting time, mm-hmm. uh, and how much time we got? It was mid... What's well, a ritual, so you don't have to spend spells for long. Yeah. Well, how much time we got? Okay, so you, your thing's got about 2 hour all, all around, doesn't it? So you're going to rest up, and so you're going to be doing that as close as possible to midnight, right? Mm. So we're looking at about 9.30ish at the moment, before he gets warmed up to get started. If you want to do anything alongside. Yeah, well I was going to cast Find Familiar. Oh, yeah. I can do that uh, as a ritual. Takes, what, 11 minutes as well. Something. That is casting time of 1 hour plus 10 minutes for some fucking reason. Jesus. Oh yeah, right. I think mine's the same actually. Yeah, yeah, weirdly long casting time on that one. Considering Tiny Hut is 11 minutes, and that's a level 3rd level spell. How many people can that fit? Tiny Hut. Because uh, like, aren't there quite a few people in the church? There's a good dozen or so. Yeah. Nine creatures. Uh, some of them aren't able to get in. So we'll yeah, well, like some of them we're going to be fighting with us. Yeah, some of them you I'm said could just swim ashore. Basically, yeah. I'm just talking non-combatants. Um, oh, just non-combatants. Right. Okay. That's more yeah. people. Yeah. So we'll put the more, more vulnerable ones in there. Um, the elderly. 
Worst, worst that happens is if someone gets injured, then they can get swapped out and chucked in the hut, and someone else can yeah. come out and yeah. Mm. yeah. The weakest of you peasants get in that hut. Uh, come, uh, so a few people sort of get shuffled in there straight away, and then then the remainder, the, the last six, start drawing lots for the final three slots. And everyone doesn't fit inside the hut. Nine, nine, fits nine. nine. We got a several dozen. We got a bit of a, a drawing straws to see who gets to take the life raft. <laughs> Someone's Women. going down with the Titanic. Women and children first. And some elderly and some children went in there first, and then there's uh, six people that are drawing lots for the last three slots in, in there. Sorry, just out of character for a second. Can't you do the magic circle in reverse? No, like that, that's what I've done. So normally it stops people coming in, but I wanted to stop people from leaving it so we can sort of just trap them trap okay. all the vampires because you could just put it around the people to protect them yeah but like yeah but if we can trap them in controlling where me, the enemies are is, I then, feel it's more important then also it's very much more in your character to like focus on doing this rather than helping people mm. 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 like he's still making friends by like saving the day but he's like going well I want to kill something cool uh, what else did you want to try? And I was just time? curious whether it worked like that. Remind me again, because uh, of this last time, um, it's not place getting else spell to slots back on a short rest for a wise arm. Yeah, um, it's your level or something. Your level divided by two in like spell slot levels. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I think you can get. I like, think it there's four. should do right. it on the thing. Cool. Yeah, I did, didn't last time. It didn't. That being said, every time I hit the button, it just errors out. So, yeah, because I'm fairly certain that um, I should have got a lot more spell slots back than I did last time. I know it's because you're fucked up. Because you're uh, like level eight, and you're not. Yeah. So I think it's yeah. You got it, have you? I can't remember. Um, yeah, spell slots can. Have, uh, it's once per day. Have you already done it on this day? Not today. Passage of time. It's still the same day as the time in Kretsk. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I would have got a short rest. Mm -hmm. uh, I did get a yep. short rest. Yeah. Alright, so that's the same day. Well, yeah, right. unfortunately, to get my um, lay on hands back, uh, I need a long rest. Mm -hmm. and we haven't had that. That's right. This is this is a perfectly good situation. Well, I'll just have a nap. Don't I have, like, at least a It's only a side million. quest really involving some fiends and fiends and uh, undead things. What the fuck are you saying, Ryan? Stop it. <laughs> Do I have any healing potions? Uh, I think I said you had enough um, stuff to make a couple of last time. Yeah. All right, so I'll hand one to Ulrich and keep one on myself. All right. Well, they're instead instead of a front rest. Line, the other front line guy. <laughs> Well, Look, if you well, hopefully a... you push them into the circle, then, well, I would say I'm trapped in there with them, but they're trapped in there with me. Of course they are. Whatever. All right. Uh, was there... uh, instead of the short rest, I will take the time to cast Familiar as a ritual instead. Yep. You should be on what sort of Familiar are you getting? Because you can add them onto your D&D Beyond now as well. As a oh, really? Character, as a... There's, there's like beast companion section on there. Now. Where's the? I don't oh, know. I'll have to do that for my horse. Is that under creatures? I couldn't find gazers on there. Is there something that's locked in a? It's in volos. I'm locked volos. Familiars. Yeah, because I can never remember what they do. Get it yourself a Dave. Jeez, that is a long. That is a long list. Yeah, there's a lot of different things you get. What? No way. Are we? Are we just getting battery pack? I mean, I was just going to get battery. It's probably going to be battery. Well, it, it is still... I get confusing. Here's, here's the yeah. thing. It is still battery. It's just his form is different. Because then we may be, we're going to be fighting bats. There is bats... You said there was going to be bats coming first. Giant bat and it's swarm not a, of bats. I'm not reading ahead. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You did... Yeah. I know, I didn't, I and I'm, not, I didn't. I'm not intelligent enough to be able to tell the difference between bat, your bat and any other bat. So go to 5e tools to look up familiar stuff. Well, in... DD Beyond, I got that filtered to familiars, and it's is like because that's a huge goddamn list. Oh, there's like, a lot of different things you get as familiars. And is that legit? Like, what are the what are the rules about what I can choose off? It's that? like CR level, right? I believe so. Yeah. Um. Uh -huh. Get a cat. It rhymes with that. Catrick. It's probably gonna be a cat now. It's pretty good. Do 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 do. Is that the song you're playing on the? Your flute? 
Yes. <laughs> he's playing the girlfriend, girlfriend of the Ebenezer and he's... But, uh, but my last one was a four, so it's <laughs> bad. <laughs> the bad from Ipanema. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just working, working out what he can get for his familiar. Let's can we fight apologize this to shit to everyone that's not doing it, everyone else that's not able to do something right now. Because uh, I assume we have time for about probably one, given how long it takes us to usually do these things. Uh, yeah, we've got enough time to be killed by vampires. Yeah. Yeah, alright. For the simplicity, Batrick. Return of Batrick. <laughs> yeah, okay. If, if it just has to be wood through the heart, then the other side of my pole. You're is to wood. blame. Uh, you give cat, vamp crab, frog, hawk, lizard, octopus, owl, poisonous octopus. snake, uh, fish, rat, raven, seahorse, spider, or weasel. Seahorse? Ratrick? That all those work. Or you can get another Dave. Like, uh, if you're level I think that might be... No, yeah. you, ha you, have to be ju you just have to be level 3 or, or above. My find familiar list has like a set list of things that it can be. I don't know what the... I think you get are. familiar as part of your thing where you got find familiar as a spell. No, yeah, but... Um, you get, you get fancier ones for being a pact of the chain. The gaze of familiar isn't a chain one, though. It's just you just have to be level 3 or above. Like, it, it's not listed as being a chain familiar. Because they don't. I don't believe you. No, I. Like, <laughs> yeah. Where is it? It's. Oh. Are you doing Patrick? Or are you doing yeah, you doing cat trick or crab tri crab trick? Octopus trick? Octric? Pickle trick? No, that's <laughs> way too high power. Get yourself a Morty. <laughs> That'd be a weasel. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you get a raven. Oh, jeez, why? I feel like you guys don't like Patrick for some reason. I do it's like just, I'm it's just probably you're, you're not the best idea when there's going to be a shit ton of bats attacking us. To we're, in, we're in a vampire themed adventure. I think you having your own bat. Well, yeah, let's go with Batrick. I think, I, think the, I think the opposite. I think that absolutely works. You can speak to them in their own tongue. I can't read that. But it's just the, the variant rules on Gaze of Familiar. Yeah, okay, cool. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, just as an aside, um, M. More Orden. M. Um, you didn't happen to um, find out anything about that magical item that we found, did you? Uh, which one? The the stick? Yeah, it's no, gross, gross stick. Don't, don't touch the, it. The um, the amulet. 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 Not the amulet. dread amulet of Katesh. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep, um, it's dreadful, uh, and the guy that made it, his name was actually Katesh. Amazing, huh? Cool. I'm probably not smart enough to dispute any of this stuff. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. We all squared away? I believe so. Cast yeah. our spell. Could be useful. Yeah. Called forth our magical creatures. Yeah. Everyone's all prepped. And rested and all the other bits and pieces. Rin is ready at all times. Okay. Yeah, if, if only you knew, like, a holy man or something who could use uh, something that... You're not getting the amulet! You're not getting the amulet! <laughs> that amulet, you don't know it exists, it's gone. You're not getting the amulet. The amulet, as far as you are concerned, does not exist in the world. You are sans amulet. You are amuletless. You are minus one amulet. You so much don't have that amulet that if you find another amulet, that amulet would disappear. You are so much in debt of amulets. You good there, buddy? Now. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that was recorded. That was fucking amazing. <laughs> I need some paper towels. <laughs> oh, you're uh, right. right. <laughs> I spat up some water on your floor. Oh God. You really did, huh? That wasn't even a joking one. Your eyes are all red. <laughs> that, that came out your nose oh, a little fine. bit, didn't it? Sorry, man. Uh, it's covered in water. <laughs> At least it's just water. <laughs> Oh no! You okay? 
was trying to have a drink and he just did it. And I was like... <laughs> Holy fuck, all the time. Alright. Nearly ready to go. It's about the annual. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you want an amulet? <laughs> I got this spare amulet. Okay. Yeah, alright, so it's just a straight up variant rule. It's got nothing to do with. Um... No, it's nothing to do with warlocks. Yeah, I just picked right. it because it's very good thematically and also powerful. <clears throat> well, yeah. So. As the night night goes on, you hear the um. As the night closes, <laughs> so it's at about about ten o'clock, the last of the yeah, I'm just gonna battle through all that one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the last bits of the 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 festival revelry sort of quietened down. People started uh, started heading home or heading into the enclosed bars and bits of it, and just to be safe from the open air, essentially. 11 o'clock comes along, I think that's about the time that you wake up from your rest. Did no one request, like, well, did, I, actually, I said to the father, did, has anyone, like, asked the Burgermeister for help? Well, actually, is 11 o'clock when the attack starts, or? It was around mid, around middle of the night, was what he said. It's been, it's not exactly like they attack exactly on 12. Okay, yeah, so yeah, cast it and then take another short rest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Okay, um, if you want to talk to the, the priest of the... Yeah, like, it's his town, and his town's being attacked by vampires. Is he not interested in looking after his own town? He sounds that like a bit fool of a man believes these festivals and keeping the cheer up of the people is everything that's going to save this place. Hmm. Well, I take your word for it. That's all I need to, um, he goes along disown the guy. He goes along saying his little, little phrase of, all be well. Hmm. Yeah, he sounds like a pretty shit person. Doesn't deserve to be Burgermaster. You're not going to depose the Burgermaster. <laughs> um, We're not going to get all CIA on this place, are we? <laughs> while, right. you're, while you're having this conversation, can you roll me a perception check? Ooh. Two. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a three. Uh, you're just waking up. Everyone, everyone, well. everyone else give me one as well. I have not rolled well today. I mean, not I would be awake. Yeah, so I think you've, you've woken up. Yeah. Oh, fuck. What was that? Perception, yeah? Perception. Ugh. Five. Well, Dave has base 14. You don't do well at rolls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> ten. Ten? <clears throat> Rid? What? Oh. Perception. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was just for him. Uh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Skills, seventeen. Seventeen. There we go. Yeah, is you, someone you can do something. You start to hearing this sort of chittering, just in the in the in the in the, in the sort of the middle distance. I hear chittering <coughs> in the middle distance. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. Uh, hmm. <laughs> very very evocative. <laughs> Why are you giving him the credit for that? <laughs> In character, he can't give you credit in character. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, you hear, you hear sort of chittering. Um, you notice that Patrick is getting a little bit sort of agitated at this. It's a familiar sound to you because you've had Patrick for some time now. It's a sort of the sound you can start you start hearing a little bit uh, closer. It's just the sound of like. Mm -hmm. Soft wing beats as well. I like signal for everybody to get ready. Get ready for I, this. Bum, when, bum, bum. Before when I stood up and then planted myself, like I have not moved from that spot. I'm still ready to it's go. It's been like two hours. <laughs> it's yeah. been like a I, I, I know, I've, I've had conversations some... as well, but yeah. I'm still standing there ready. I blow some sharp, clear notes on my flute to indicate it's time for battle. <laughs> Ish time for battle. Roll performance. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like hot cross buns. And I got a four again. <laughs> oh, it is definitely a shrill warning. People are alert and awake, and a couple of bats are slightly disorientated. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do we roll initiative? Is this Let's just roll initiative in? straight in. Just f do a fucking fight now. God damn my rolls today. I got a seventeen. 
Uh, it's going to be 12 for moi. And seven for Patrick rolls his own initiative, I believe. He's on his own. On your own. I oh, think seven. he's on your own initiative. Right. You guys can work in seven. concert. Evan, are you saying concert just so you can do another so uh, musical no. line? No, Ryan. I would never make a pun like that. Now I. Initiative. Oh. Uh, 10. 10. Sorry, I was reading up my spell list. Okay. I'm sure I know what I'm doing. <coughs> How'd that go? Good, good. Um, just making sure I've got my trump card actually memorized properly. Oh yeah, yeah. I've, I've got I've got an awesome spell. I've I've got in the ring spell story. What is it? I'm not saying. Why, why aren't you saying? Because I'm a one-up. But what is it? Because it's really good at killing were ravens. It's really good at killing everything. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. So, you start to hear the sort of the, the chittering and screeching getting closer and closer, and then you start hearing like the scratching at the uh, at the roof, the sort of thatched roof of the uh, of the I'm sorry, wooden roof of the uh, of the church. You see here, like from one side, you hear on one side, and another, another one's you, on the another far side. You start hearing like scrambling across the across the sides. Um, is it coming from a direction at all, or is it kind of it's sort of They've flown down, and they're sort of coming in all directions. Yeah, yeah. Do you see Rin, since you've got the high, the high perception, it's still, it's still kicking in there. Um, you start seeing a, a, a couple of small bats sort of just like crawling under the eaves and then up in between a gap between the wall and the, um, and the actual roofing and crawling like claws on the inside edge of the, um, inside edge of the, the roof. And then as soon as uh, their body's free from the gap, they sort of drop and uh, fling their wings out, sort of Batman style, and uh, start flapping wildly around the, uh, around the room. Um, one swarm of them starts to sort of get their bearings on the situation in the room, and they immediately start to sort of swarm and start uh, uh, fluttering aggressively around the sort of remaining of the refugees. <gasps> Not the refugees. Uh, who basically is just sitting there, just like just doing the whole arm flail, scrambling bits and pieces, just trying to wave these bats bats away every now and then. One sort of, one person pulls a hand down, sort of holding a scratch or a cut. A second second group start to um, crawl through a crack near near the, um, the the crack between the the door frame and the um and the the stonework in the uh, on the front door. And who was closest to the door? Um, that door? Yes. Um, yeah, probably Nalag. Nalag? Alright. You have a swarm of bats around you. Yay. <laughs> Don't be like that. Don't be shitty. Don't be shitty. Well, there's a swarm of bats on me. That's fair. Uh, nice bats. You don't know yet. <laughs> Is your AC higher than nine? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> 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 Alright. Uh, next up is Rin. Hey, uh, there's currently two little swarms of bats inside this space. So one came in through the door, and the other's attacking the refugees. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go over to the refugees. To the refugees, and hit the swarm of bats with my stick. Mm -hmm. Is it? Is it? This is the thing where they they interact as a swarm. Yeah, you don't have to hit individual ones. I'm gonna right. smack. I'm gonna smack a swarm. Yep, with my stick. Come up and try and like swap one away. Mm, Twenty-three. Ah, uh, yes, yes, that hits. It's a D eight. I roll an eight. Uh, fifteen damage. Scream. Okay. Uh, yeah, you've done some damage to me. Okay, so he spins around and carries the momentum through for his second attack. Eighteen. Uh, hits. Uh, nine damage. Nine damage. So in two sort of swift strikes with the um, the staff, you basically like bat like two. <laughs> what I do? <laughs> to the what? <sighs> move past. Move past. <laughs> <laughs> Swing and sort of strike two bats on the on the first one and and slam them into the wall. Basically, just they hit, they drop, and then the second one was like two like quick. <laughs> Knocking two more, two further away, taking out a swarm of bats. I took out a swarm of bats, guys. Nice. 
How do you like them apples? And then he sort of like, like sort of lands, like crouch with his stick out in front of him in a very sort of cool ninja pose. Kind of like what why you tried to do, but better. But better. Like less, less limping afterwards. Like, <laughs> nah, that's just a football injury. <laughs> uh, next up is why you. Uh, okay. Is there anything in the room at the moment? There's another he... yeah, There's two, another... Two All right, two that swords. Is, uh, two on Nalag currently. It's sort of fluttering around his head. Uh, all right. I'm going to back up against the nearest wall, fumble round for the nearest poly relic item. I'm imagining like a cross, but okay. it's not going to be a cross. Yeah. And rip that off the mm -hmm. wall and... Away! Dread... Beast. Okay. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> you were the one that was excited that's... for him to come. Enjoy this. <laughs> yeah. That, that's it. That's it? I, how, I mean, that, that's not my action, but how does that go? That's, that's, uh, that's definitely a thing you've done. All right. <laughs> Confirmed one thing. Done. Cool. I cast Again, okay, there's still a, still a bunch of, like... Just yep. They they don't seem like at all put off by this. No. No. Okay. They just seem like bats. Yeah. They were bats before, and they're bats now. Yes. Cool. Okay. Uh. Why I you try I, getting him with a stick. I cast haste on him. Best day ever. Um. So yeah, there's only one swarm in here at the moment. Currently. Okay, um, I can't really hit it with my Eldritch Blast, so I'm gonna hit it with my Pimp Cane. Mm-hmm. Like <laughs> oh, 17. Yep. Nice. It's 1d4. 4! Very nice. And Dave's gonna, like, hit him with an eye beam, which is probably gonna do, like, 10 times more. That's Telekinesis, yay. And Fear Ray. Okay, so DC 12 Wisdom and DC 12 Strength. Uh, so the Wisdom one, I pass because I'm immune. Um, um, and what was the other one? Uh, strength save. And what's the result? Uh, DC 12 to pass. Yeah, yeah, but what's, what's the... Oh, it gets pushed 30 feet away. Or up to 30 feet away. Okay. Yeah, you're basically like... You're sitting there like swatting at them. You, you manage to connect, connect briefly with one of, the, one of the bats and then all of a sudden... Uh, just get pushed away. You just see this whole thing like, <laughs> and these and these bats are just like, whoop, ten foot away. Thank you, Dave. Dave, sure thing, no. sure, <laughs> sure thing boss. <laughs> Ain't no trouble, boys. You yeah, already did it. You don't have to do it. I did it. That's my character. <laughs> Dave, no. <laughs> I really need to get Dave it's still like my a favorite thing. <laughs> I really, I really need to get Dave a cigar, just so he can be like chewing on one all the time. Wait, wait did we forget? Yeah, we don't he has a mouth. I can't remember. Oh, he has yeah, a giant know. mouth. Okay, he's like mouth and eye. That's pretty much. Oh, all. That's he his has eye. three things. <laughs> one of them's a mouth. <laughs> Seven of them are eyes, <laughs> and one of them is a heart. <laughs> and the other thing actually a have a heart. I'm pretty sure there are. Uh, I think I think it's biologically they may just have one omni organ. And what, what part do they make the bags of holding out of? Holding out of them. The omni organ. Oh, okay. No, it makes some sense. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> you see, they make bags of holding out of the holders. Mm. Cool bags of holders. Um, it's like an. I think it's like the inverted pelt of a beholder is a. I don't actually know. That's cool. Wow. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Ulrich's turn. Uh, uh, no, it's not. No, no. no I doubt it. Because <laughs> he did not roll well. No. All right. Um, you roll? You hear a um, um, like sequence of much sort of heavier landings on the roof. Um, they did cool hero poses, like, but we didn't but see But no one it. was there to see yeah, it. Yeah, no one saw it. So. Uh, what, if anyone, anyone looking up at it, it just sees like a little bit of like, the dust come through in the gaps in the, um, in the ceiling beams um, just from, from, this, from this landing. And then you just hear across the top. It's horses. Horses. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, fuck me if you're trying to do horses. <laughs> <laughs> so not horses. It's not, cool. not, not horses. Distinctly not horses. Um, That's on the road, so it should be reindeer. Or Pegasi. Anyway. Uh, Stop trying to pluralize Pegasus. There's only one. True. 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 Pegasus. There's only one. Well, you said Pegasus is... Okay, what, yeah, so what are they doing? Um, at one corner of the roof, you start hearing the sound of, like, creaking as... And anyone looking up there starts to see the... Like, the corner roof beam just starting to, like, pull slightly as something's pulling it up. And uh, fine. Yes, I do. So it was good that they barricaded the windows. They're just tearing off the fucking roof. Yes. Well, you can't really barricade a roof. That's just a that's roof. What, that's a roof. Yeah. It's just making the roof more roof like. Less or roof less roof like. Or less roof. Yeah. More open open air auditorium. They're installing no, skylights. We we I, I find doing, it funny. Yeah. It's like a stone it's a stone building, they barricaded the windows. It's just a thatch roof though, and like oh Sorry, I said thatch accident oh. at one point. It's, it's, it's a timid roof. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. Um but yeah, some part oversight. <laughs> Fire, fire, done, everyone. <laughs> yeah, finished. yeah, just set the place on. Um, but yeah, the, the corner there, you just start, start seeing the beam start to like lift a little bit and cr- it's sort of creaking under the strain. Ulrich. Um, Continues to stand in the circle. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, I cast Shield of Faith. Shield of Faith. Armor. Shield of Faith. And um, that's it. <laughs> like, a, like the shield of faith is just a like the, I mean, there's like, no more bats, are there? I'm like, yeah, still bats. Yeah, still bats. Oh, well, I mean, I don't really have anything ranged. Um, you, got yeah. thing, you got one thing ranged. Can you activate your shield? I think you've already used your, fra- your, your dragon breath, haven't you? Oh, yeah. No, I, ha- I haven't actually, but I was saving that for the vampires. I figured bats probably weren't worth using the dragon breath on. I'm just throwing, throwing the options. Yeah. You're not saying it's a good one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's all I'm doing. All right. Um, from this gap in the roof. Thank you for the haste earlier. I, it was in all the commotion. I didn't. I didn't say. Anything. Wait, was Shield of Faith bonus action or action? Well, I don't it's think now's action. really the time. <laughs> <laughs> Just, like, challenge the vampires to come at you. Yeah. Um. I yell at them and say. Um, something. Come rude, at me, bro. Something terribly yeah, rude. Yeah. Um. You emo. Uh. Leeches, come and fight me. You sort of hear this audible hiss from the other side of the uh, fucking emo. <laughs> Dad's going to fucking go off, alright? <laughs> it's not a phase, Dad! <laughs> uh, but this, this gap that they've pulled up on the, um, on the, uh, on the roof, you see this, you know, like, it's just a bunch more bats just, like, pour in, like, full flight. Uh, that's going to go for... I think you're the closest for the first slot. So the first lot of bats are just going to pour in, because they're, they're coming in this corner oh, oh, up near up near where you're based yep so one squad's gonna fly in on you that's not great 13 total yeah that doesn't quite get where's everyone else uh, you're up I'm where the refugees are I thought the refugees were over there refugees refugees refugees. not right near the doors oh okay oh sorry and there's another action I would have activated my shield sorry mm-hmm. just as yet all right. Just so that's where. Make sure that that happened. Was that where Tiny Hut was? <coughs> Tiny Hut and the Do they go within or... ten feet of me? Uh, I can't remember where you said you put it. I think when we, when we first got there, you said they were on the little dias thing, but wherever the Tiny Hut is, I suppose mm. they'd be clustered. All right. They're going after you. Uh, me. That's a better one. No. <laughs> no. That's right. I probably don't hit anyway. Probably not. I'm pretty great. Uh, oh, Twenty-three. Right? Oh, yeah, that is. <laughs> wait, wait, what's your AC already? Oh, wait, I got extra yeah, AC. Yeah, plus two to AC. Um, I'm going to have to bring up haste. Plus two, oh, well, I'm 20. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, come on. Two damage. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Did you hear that distinctive sound of two dice rolling as well? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just angry. Just so angry. Just fucking annoyed now. Uh... And the ones that are, ones that are new, I got. Oh, no, I already missed one. Missing that one there. Okay, Rin. Um, oh sorry. wait, the third ones, the ones that are, that are on you. I thought they got pushed away. They got pushed away. They can move back again. Mm. They are still bats. Uh, seventeen. That hits. Yeah, boy. That's six damage. Ow. It's better than 
Well, for me it is. And Rin, yes, back at you. So there's one swarm of bats up on me? There is the... Two swarms? You cleaned out all the ones on top of the, the refugee, so there's now just one on you. So the one that just came the in. The one that just came in. Uh, so there's one on you, there's one on Ulrich, there's one on Nalag. Okay. Push it. I will uh, bat them away mm -hmm. with my staff. I rolled a 20. That's probably going to hit. Yep. So that is 2d8 plus 7. 6. 8. 15 damage. Mm -hmm. uh, swing again. 6 plus 10, 16. Yep. 4 plus 7, 11 damage. Jesus. So there's this flurry of blows. It's just like... Just knocking these little, these little uh, bats, little bats out of the out of the uh, out of the sky. There's a here. Squee. <laughs> what? Is there any left? Do you want their life story in their background or middle of their family? <laughs> no, I was perfectly happy with the squee. <laughs> their, their background. Oh god. Okay, ignore that one. <laughs> For those at home, Ryan actually <laughs> threw a dice at the time. <laughs> All right. Uh, is there any more? Or is it, did that did that do that? That wiped out that that squad. That uh, uh, swarm. So, forty five feet. Can I move to one of the other store swarms? You can definitely get to the ones at Ulrich. All right. I'm going to move over there. Just the back. Of my, I can get to anywhere in this thing. Just about, mm -hmm. yeah. Within a turn. So forty five feet. I'm going to dash over there and smack his swarm as well. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll hit. Uh, and that is. Um, I have so much trouble adding seven to things. Eleven. It's a slightly awkward number. I was going to say odd number, but that was that fundamentally true. Uh, I don't really need to worry about where I'm specifically located because I can get to anywhere in this room in one turn, pretty much. Almost so the forty-five, including the extra distance you get from Hayes? I don't get extra distance. I don't get extra. I'm just forty-five. Okay. I thought your movement speed got doubled. Does it? Yeah. It doesn't say that on the thing already. The heist. Uh, it add, does add. Oh, target speed is doubled. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did a couple of laps around the place before I went over there. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Barry Allen. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you? You're up. Uh, Alright. What's left in the room? There is a swarm of bats on Nalag. There is a half a swarm of bats on Ulrich. The first thing it says is speed is doubled, and I missed that. You want to just get to all the good bits. Well, I, I get to punch a hundred million times. My AC becomes invincible, and I have advantage. And I, have, I, have, I have to have is a bit of a sleep. Is it ten minutes that it lasts, or is it uh, one minute? I believe. Okay. Is it, or is it ten minutes? One minute. One minute. And then you have to have a bit of a sleepy. Then you have a sleepy time. Yeah. I cast fireball. Yes. That is twenty-one to hit. Yes. And that is two. D and which group is this? Oh, one Ulrich. Ulrich. Yeah, sorry, one Ulrich. And that is 12 damage. Alright, this fire, fire bolt. Bolt? Fire bolt, yes. Uh, you should see that sort of flying. Um, you know, it goes flying at these bats and just like. There's this flash of sparks and a little bit of like a sizzle of hair, and then there is this like ash left of these bats. And a bad smell. And um, yeah, there's the. There's a uh, just ash. Which bats do you attack? The ones on the rig. Okay, I guess. Why do you want to face? Mm. Uh, no, like you're up. Um, so I pre-rolled. Um, I did natural twenty on the ping with the stick. Yep. And I got a three, so it's six. And um, Dave did uh, frost rate. Oh, was able did a frost rate and a fear ray. So yep. Obviously fear is ignored, but DC twelve. On the um, first wave, it's dexterity. Uh, I pass um, it. Okay. Do those rays come out as like different colors or something? Or like, would, essentially, would we know that they're, they're the rays of what they are? Maybe. Like after a while, we would like having seen it a few times. After a while, you might get. It. I don't. I, it doesn't actually say. Um, Mostly just because if I see a fear ray, 
Am I going to realise that they're not feared because of that fear rate? I think we might be waiting a few more uh, battles before you start working that out. Yeah, maybe okay. some sort of yeah. Yeah. friendly We've really sparring. known each other for like two days. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. friendly sparring training session to work out this sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, that's a not yet thing. But okay. um, I, I don't see why they wouldn't be colour coded. Okay. The. Alright. You hear there's like a. a at, uh, like a massive crack sound as and a little bit of like of the moonlight from outside starts to pu- uh, pull through the gap that's now opened in the um in the, in the roof and you see these long sort of gaunt clawed fingers sort of reaching through and grabbing hold of the next next roof piece and starting to yank yank that open as well and it's just starting to pull on the strain at, at, at a full at, at a at a full strain there now as well. Ulrich, you're up. Uh, so the bats that are on me have I'm gone. Done. They are and now you got rid of the bats that were on. So there's basically. I'm pretty sure there's still bats on me. There's still bats. Oh, there. okay. Um, wait, I can still leave the circle and come back, can't I? Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, it's just cool. like uh, fiends and undead can't leave it. Okay, cool. unless you're a fiend or undead. In that case, are you a fiend? Or undead? Now's the time to tell us. No, not quite. You, you got to tell us if you're a cop. Yeah. Um, Otherwise, you can trap it. Yeah, that's how that works. Um, how far away is? Oh wait, how, um, my walking speed's thirty, so I can just good. yeah. Then it's only fifty across, yeah. so I'm going to assume it's yeah. Uh, have a ninety walking speed <laughs> <laughs> before or after the uh, haste. <laughs> um, I'm yeah. Given it's the only thing I can attack, I'll go and attack the um. Yep. I think I get 17 plus oh, really uh, you're off one then six, that's so going to be great to swing at a pole arm yeah, over my legs <laughs> and trying to hit bats <laughs> have at thee I'm going to assume a 23 hits yes uh, and uh, 6 damage 6 damage you managed to put your uh, your, your pole arm st- as a well, straight my glaive glaive yeah. sorry wait um, neatly slicing one of those bats in half Cool. That one remaining bat, this is still hovering around the top of Nale's head. Uh, 17? It's still yeah, it's like a swarm. Uh, wait, if it's in, uh, I get an attack of opportunity if it's attacking something that's not me. It is. So, uh, so one damage to you, so you can, um... Yeah, that's gonna hit. Uh, fuck, four damage. Uh, so yeah, your um, your blade sort of strikes his that strikes his bat. You, you see, like it's it's cut through like the leather of one of its wings. So it's it's flying a bit awkwardly now, but it's still kicking. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> yep. You only hit it with the side of the blade. Mm. All yeah, right. I only rolled a one on my damage. So. Uh, Rin. Hi. There is a injured bat, and then there is, you can see those gaunt clawed fingers. Tearing at the roof. Not really anything I can do about those gaunt clawed fingers, is there? You can always hold an action if you want to do the. If you want to name an action and hold it. Yeah, I will. You can run up the walls, fucking Spider Man. I could try. Yeah, you can run up walls, Spider Man. No, I can't. Yeah, I get that next that's level. The, sorry, that's the well, other. Yeah. That's the other. That's the um, other character. Um, is, if they're Spider Man against the other. thing, they still can't leave. Actually, I get the, no, the Jackie Chan oh, okay. like running up the walls out, but next level. Obviously, not if they're willing. It was more just like, does it act as a wall and I could just bash the one of those tried? You're like, maybe I've already leveled up. Ah, <laughs> yeah, alright, jumping isn't based off. I always forget the jumping mechanics. Jumping's based off your lane. strength. It's off strength, yeah. Rather than. I'll, I'll just. I'll position myself in front of where the gaunt hands are mm-hmm. and hold an action to try and smack whatever comes through there. Alrighty. That's what uh, I will do. We are waiting for these things to bust in, I guess. Mm. Why are you? Uh, so there is like one bat. Is, it, is the bat any danger? Can we just let the bat die of natural causes? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, can you? It's still technically I don't know, can do- I? It's, it's still, still doing damage against it's still him. attacking is me. Is it still? Alright. Yeah. It All right. can give you rabies. Mm. Right. Oh shit, what am I going to make you making rolls? I'm going to check that. By rabies, I mean be a vampire now. Anyway, make sure they weren't like bad or diseased or anything like that. But not? That would be good. Alright. Uh, five volt. Five volt? Five volt. Melt its face off. Face. Uh, 16. 
Uh, that hits. Nice. Fifteen. There is no more bat. Yay! <laughs> it is an X bat. <laughs> God damn it! Now I'm doing Monty Python. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like Monty Python. Ah. Uh, but I will wander though. over and pick up the remnants of one of the cut in half bats mm-hmm. and just like put it away just somewhere. Like, you know, you guys don't have to worry about that. All right, uh, now like so you are now bat free. Yay, bat free since ninety three. <laughs> I wasn't even alive then. <laughs> I mean, were you bat free then? Is an accurate yeah. statement. <laughs> um, so the the claws that are reaching into the the building, um, Rin's Rin's close to them, isn't he? He's like thirty feet below them, but yes. Oh, okay. How many sets of claws are there? Roll me perception if you want to do that. Eighteen, but well, nineteen. You can see at that point there. There's at least three distinct pairs of hands. What? Sickening radiance. Okay. Yay. Alright. That's out of the ring, isn't it? No. No? No, no, that's not the ring. I don't know what what you got stored in the ring. (laughs) Oh god. Don't ever make that sound again. (laughs) That was a bad noise. (laughs) That was the bad noise. (laughs) Um, I gotta roll some saves, right? uh, Yes, Constitution DC 15. Oh boy, okay, so... Yeah, I'm good. DC 15. Pass. Uh, fail. Fail. Pass. Okay. Alright, so 31 was the damage, and all of them, all of the ones that failed take one point of exhaustion. And do they take half damage if they. Yeah. How big is the sphere? 30 feet. So, so I'm it. good. Yeah. Good job. So I'm good. Yeah, that's why I asked. If you were within it, I would have done Elder oh, Blast. I just realised I was meant to get two attacks per turn. No. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter. I get three attacks a turn. Oh, At the moment. It's delicious. <laughs> well, actually, no, no, he, he gets three attacks because he's got his bonus action attack as well. I get f- five attacks a turn. If you don't do flurry of blows. If I do do flurry of oh, blows. Okay. All right, that hurt. Mm. I haven't spent any key points yet. Oh boy! All right. Oh boy! You said that wrong. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! So you're all done, yes? Mm-hmm. All right. And what's a, is there a whole thing for staying in the in this area? Orb. Um, anything that stays in it just takes more damage. Once they leave it, um, they lose the exhaustion. Awesome. All right. Okay, the second um, roof uh, beam just sort of like cracks and breaks away, and you just see these two like gaunt, sh- uh, gaunt like vampiric looking shapes start sort of crawling over the over the edge and then across the roof, like holding on by these claws. And then the first one sort of drops down next to you. Hey! Which is a bad plan because you got a held action. Because I'm ready for it. <laughs> which you get to do your held action because they're now there. So I'm going to smack him. I'm going to smack this vampire. Mm-hmm. So first hit. 16, 26. Oh, yes. Uh, that is nine damage. Uh, that was like a one side. Yep. Spit around the other side. Yep. Fourteen. Uh, that misses. That one whiffs. And then... Oh. Sorry, I, I was wrong. Um, it doesn't lose the exhaustion, but it loses it when the spell ends. Yeah. Oh, and it's also lit up. Okay. Yeah. You can see it anyway. Yeah. yeah. That's a good call. Uh, and coming down another one... Seventeen? Yep. Fourteen damage. And I'm going to spend a key point... When I can find where I can spend key points, yes. Spend a key point to do a flurry of blows. Uh, and so this is going to be a kick. Does that move them? Uh, I can choose to. I'm going to... Okay, I'm figuring I can push them... What I sort of want to do is I want to kick him back into the sickening radiance. For this. Oh, you want to try and kick him out? Yeah. Okay. If I enter it again, I take more damage. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Oh, it has to enter it on its turn or start its turn in it. Oh, okay. Well, it'll start its next turn in there if I kick him into it, right? <coughs> yeah, can you up and like, hold him there somehow? Yeah. Well, it's still, it'll still start its turn in there. Mm, gravity? Mm. Gravity. That makes... That's dumb. Yeah, no, okay. Uh, so that's... Uh, uh, we still got the I thought they were flying. Magic yeah. circle going on? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Push yeah, them into I'm, the I'm not concentrating on the circle. Well, I'm not facing the magic circle right now. I'm facing the corner of the room. Yeah, you are, John. Judo flip them. <laughs> Judo flip them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, you are like super. Would that fly? Right like if I just like scoot around him? Does it, I don't think it matters so much direction. movement right now. All right, yeah. I'm, I'm good uh, with the yeah, I'll, sc- of that I'll scoot around yeah. the other side and like sort of kick him. Yep. Uh, and for the record, he actually dropped down on the inside of you as well. He's like, oh, okay. right down the corner. He, cool, he, cool. he went across the roof and then dropped down on the sort of between you and the. Uh, so that's a d6. The circle. Plus five. So six. Mm-hmm. Six damage, and then he takes a. Open hand techniques. Uh, 14 uh, strength saving throw. I fail. He gets pushed 15 feet. This is going to be well enough to drop him right in the in the death zone. Yeah. Up to 15 feet, so like I'm trying yeah. to push him into the zone. You basically just we go on. on. The slide through, like, just like push him. I'm, I'm imagining it was like a smack, smack, and then sort of like scooting around and roundhouse kick him into the thing. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, I have another open hand blow. I can still move, right? <laughs> uh, that was your... This is your held action, so your movement was... Okay. Then I'm done. Yep. So, the second one of those, now it's back to my turn. <laughs> uh, actually, that guy there, he's now dropped down. Is he made prone at that point there? Or uh, he... No. And Ulrich left to go. So okay, so he's yeah, but not zone. far. Like, yeah, but just like, not within melee range. Probably not. No. All right, so that guy there is so now like, looking, looking around the floor and is like, "Well, shit." Um, the second one uh, is going to drop down, but going to try and tackle you as uh, in the landing. So this is going to be. Is it a deck save? I think it's going to be. A deck save. Yeah, it's going to be acrobatics or athletics is going to be your save. It's essentially a grapple. Oh no, he's not good at that. I have advantage on deck saves. <laughs> and you get a plus three. If you're you're close by me. Yeah, I'm at the front end of the church Wait, now. Wait, uh, my thing's 10 or 15. Feet. What, am I, what am I rolling? Is it a deck save or is it a... It's your choice. It's, it's like a grapple. You can do dex or... Because I got advantage of it from, ha- from haste anyway. That. Uh, okay. That one there sounds like a really good plan. This sounds like a good idea. Um... That's a Lucky. one. Okay. 15, 18 with the plus three. All right. So you only, actually only just beat me, so... Uh, you managed to, like, swiftly, like, jump out of the road. Uh, this guy here, because he went for the of damage. Take six damage on the proper. These vampires are chumps. All right. That'll be the other part. Are these vampires? Do they look like vampires? You can actually describe them. This is yeah, ten like feet. With me. So, yeah. They are gaunt and vampiric, as I think in the description I said. They have teeth. Yes. Very well, obvious. They have, they have tea. Sure. Very. They're funky teeth. They're going to gum us to death. Um, okay, so yeah, he sort of dropped down next to you, landed heavily, but then he's going to take a, a, a couple of good strikes at you. Hopefully. Fucking bring it. Why am I taking this shit? Oh, because I ran towards. I ran towards. Yeah, you ran towards. So he's gonna go take a swipe out with his with, uh, with you with his claws. Nineteen? No, no. And then he's gonna. I'm eighteen right now. No, sorry, twenty. because of thing. He's gonna take a swipe with the other claws. That's even worse. All right. <laughs> the third one is gonna sort of sc- uh, scuttle through, and then basically keeping to the roof is climbing up through the uh, through the eaves. And is basically the sort of amongst all the the roof eaves, and the fourth one, the one that you didn't see, couldn't see the hands of before, but did have four distinct rolls on the save. Um, yeah, pulls the rest of this thing, uh, the the uh, the railings away, and then sort of says, "Did that one have disadvantage? Oh, did it get exhausted or still passes?" Fair enough. Um, and yeah, sort of. Climbs, uh, climbs through as well and then starts to like, walks down the wall like David Bowie like David Bowie 
uh, walks part way down the wall and then across you part of the way as well. So it's basically against the wall around around about here. So one of them's in the wind wall, one's one of them in the rafters, the one's on the wall, and one is attacking me. Yep. Uh, Ulrich. Okay, so where? Yeah, I'm gonna probably need pointers of where everyone is. So there's one over here. There's one. There's one here. Here. One over here. Um. Yeah. Uh, where would I be? Well, because I attacked that bat before, so that was attacking uh, him. Nalag was over over here somewhere, so you're basically here. You've got enough distance to get back in there and start start to smash. Well, I uh, want to try and get more in there but first. Vampire here. Uh, vampire here. Uh, one is inside. And one's up in the roofs. Okay. Um, I don't know what's going on. I... I guess I'll move over to the 3D space, so it's very, very hard to. Yeah, I'll move over to the closest one. Um, and. How far can I shove? 10 feet. 10 feet. And so, how far away would that be? Like. Uh, it's, well, it's, it was. To get there, it'd probably be about 15, because that's a 10, that's a 20 foot radius, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Well, no, 10 foot radius. 10 foot radius, so it'll be 5, five foot to there. Okay. To the. Uh, Oh, 10 foot radius. Ten, ten, yeah, uh, it's 20 feet across. Yeah, okay. That's... Let me double check that. Which means it's about... Trigger, trigger it's about from, from against the wall, it'll be 15 feet to get him inside. Just kill it. With your sword. King it's out. Just, just, just kill it. Um... Oh, it's a vampire. You can't kill vampires. I'm going to go over to it kill vampires. and... That's um, that's that's their deal. They can't, they, they can't die. Well, I mean, they can't escape the circle, even if they turn into smoke. Or they overcome the spell. Uh, they can't unless it's by magic. And even then, they have to pass a check. Well, <laughs> checks can be passed. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> don't don't rain on my parade. <laughs> Oh, I'm, just, I'm just saying, you're, you, this this plan is foolproof based on Ryan not rolling so good. He's like, who's shitting your cornflakes? <laughs> um, oh, so shove is only five feet, apparently. Is it? Oh, I thought it was if you win the contest, you either knock the target prone or push it five feet away from you. Well, there we go. You, know, you could scared. just grapple it and drag it 15. Get a vampire in a headlock. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of, really good, good vampire in a headlock. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I like how we're all on board with vampires and headlocks. I know that's great. I'm just put just put flesh right near its mouth. It's a great idea. He's got armor. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Who's shooting your complex? <laughs> um. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to grapple it. I'm just going to give it a big hug. Yep. And we're walking over to the circle. So this is this is the David Bowie one. Uh, so the grapple probably. is uh, it's a strength check so it's, uh, yeah, you're, you're rolling strength I can roll either athletics or acrobatics to try and break out of it oh you're doing strength athletics as well to do this as well yeah it's strength athletics yeah, it's a shame that I'm not really awesome at that one not awesome at, also awesome at athletics no that's my best one mm. um, he was being sarcastic <laughs> shut up <laughs> uh, so 18 I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call that uh, with my five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I win the. <laughs> um, I say to him, "Come on, you um, Strad wannabe. Let's let, we're going over here, and then I basically just well, you yeah yeah grapple and him, and move, we're going yeah yep because you can move half your speed while grappling someone yes. Yeah. All right, that so, is that gets you there. That gets you there. So basically, you're in the zone with them, but yeah, you're there. Yeah, and so that, yeah, that was my action, and then a, and then a movement. Mm -hmm. It's baller though. Um, can I like basically let go of him and then move back a bit? Uh, out I of the think that would or? be the extent of your oh, movement. Okay, yeah. All right. Um, and then you did I, the whole thing. You wanted to be in there with them. This is. For the oh yeah, you know. Well, I'm trying to get them all in there. I, w I want them all. We got them. it. It's cool. Don't yeah. worry about it. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I get battle pose again and say, "Come on, 
you anemic uh, assholes. Let's uh, let's. I love the confidence. You get the delivery is just absolutely yeah, impeccable. Yeah, let's let's go. Yeah, let's go. Bring it. All right. You next sound up. confused when you do it. <laughs> <laughs> you anemic <laughs> assholes. <laughs> yeah, you blood suck- suckers. Yeah, suckers. Yeah. Uh, Rin. It's me again. Oh yeah. You killed all the bats. That was Oryx's turn. Okay. Uh, I just go back to my place in the order, not to where I yeah. held my position. Okay. Because you get, it, it comes up on, on your turn, you get to do your movement and all the different pieces, cool. but then you declare what the action is going to be when, if the conditions cool. are met. All right. Uh, so I'm, I'm tangling with this vampire who had a go on me. The vampire. Vampire. I'm going to... You're going to wham him. Wham him with stick. <laughs> That's a hit. That's a, that's a <laughs> solid hit. Uh, so that is 12 damage. Ooh, that is a solid hit. Hit him again at uh, 16 plus 10, so 26. Yep. Ooh, uh, that's 15 damage. Okay. Third time. 25 to hit. These are these are good rolls. Fourteen damage. You use some of these shitty rolls uh, in the just fucking in, like bongo drums on this guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So was that three hits so far? That was three main hits because two. But I bet if you take the flute out now, you're gonna roll a three or a four. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got all my bones out on the flute. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I just spend a key point to oh. do flurry of blows. Yep. Uh, another two unarmed strikes. Another two unarmed strikes. Uh, 16? Is yes. that it? Uh, 6 damage and a strength 14 check. No. He, he, he doesn't pass? No. So this is like a hit, smack him in the sternum mm-hmm. and he goes flying back into the into the wing wong. Into the wing wong. Uh, <laughs> yep, he's in the wing wong. Cool. So there's three of them out of the four in there now, and then, and then he sort of yes. like does a does a pose. How long did that last again? Hmm? How long does the? It's got another hour. Uh, yeah, okay. it's got, yeah, it's got ages. It's got an hour from the beginning of that of this combat. Yeah. So currently an hour and sorry, fifty nine minutes and thirty seconds. Cool. <laughs> it's got a while. So so that's my turn. You sure? You know, I, I brutalized a vampire and then I pushed him into the zone. I could have hit him again before pushing him. But I didn't want to risk that. I got the two flurry of blows, and like it's not guaranteed that they're gonna work. So like the first one, if uh, I'm trying not to save the push for the second one, because what'll happen is I'll save it for the second one and then it'll whiff. Yeah, (laughs) here's your one. All right, why are you? I am going to hold an action. Okay, what are you holding for? Uh, currently the only one that's not in the in the zone of it's it's about to be fucked. Yep. Um, is the one up in the rafters, which yep. is not too far off your position. Anyway. Well, I'm going to see what that one's going to do. If that starts to advance towards me at all, then he's going to cop a spell. What spell? Do magic. I have? Do I have to magic missile? I do. Okay. <laughs> well, in that case, it's essentially you're sizzling the, the you're holding the spell like essentially cast. Yeah. He's going to cast heal. <laughs> It's going to go Final Fantasy rules. <laughs> Heal the undead. Does it damage? Man. Did you literally hold the action just so you could, so you didn't have to make a decision? No, I, I, had, I had a thing, but it depends on like how, how something shook out. So I was, I was actually waiting to see. I didn't have the spell ready. I was like, just going to like pose, be like, spell casting. <laughs> I'm get all specific about it. Jeez. Really, an adventurer, are you? <laughs> you just sort of hang around with adventurers that steal their magic shit. It's look, liter- literally a different world. The world that I come from, we do things differently. We don't have to like call our spells ahead of time. You got some backwards nonsense rules going on. All these house rules, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> have you bought enough time to decide yet? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I was. He was thinking of the way out. Too invested in the thing. <laughs> He's doing his bit and not his job. <laughs> Outraged for long enough while you think up their response. 
It's a Trump way. <laughs> uh, all right, that is going it's to funny, be. His outrage is normally just his response anyway. He's got nothing useful to say ever. Phantasmal Force. Phantasmal Force. All right, cool. Hey, hey, I was just looking at that. Uh, no, you're up. Cool. Um, three, in, three, in the, three in the prison, one on the roof. Okay, so Dave is going to go out the roof and check, see if there's anything in there. Or anything out there. Okay. Uh, you want me to roll your perception while you're up? Yeah, sure. See if there's anything else coming. Yeah, uh, so that is... Well, Dave has plus four to his perception, so that's 16. Uh, from Dave's... Pers- and he's got dark vision, hasn't he? Um, I have uh, devil sight. I can see normally in darkness and magic... Well, magical and non-magical darkness. Cool. Yeah. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything else approaching. Cool. All right. Um, I think I'm just going to Eldritch Blast the one on the roof All right? and head towards the circle so like if it comes towards me it's sort of just put the circle between me and it that is an 8 plus 7 so that's 15. yeah 15 hits yay what does that suck and a 20 and you suck by extension <laughs> <laughs> that was so uh, so that was six damage total. Six really? Damage total. I don't know, man. And your face. Sucks. I'm a bit punchy right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> now, what? Uh, prisons, prison rules. What's the prison rules? If I try you, you and beat up the biggest guy. <laughs> they, <laughs> yeah. but they can't willingly leave it. Yep. So if they get pushed out, um, you know, providing they're not like, oh yeah, push me out, um, then you know they're stuck in there. <laughs> um, if they try to teleport out, or f- uh, it doesn't actually say they force their way out, um, but yeah, if they try to teleport out, it's DC 15 charisma check. Mm-hmm. So Trying to use magic to get out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, Currently, you see one of them just sort of like step up towards the edge of this because you can see the the glowing runes around the edge. Just step up to it and then try and like put their hand against it. And it's like what's normally sort of almost looks like an invisible barrier sort of lights up where his hand goes and he's like and it's just like you can just see the barrier whenever they hit their hand against it it's like oh my god he's a dead mime let's kill him (laughs) it's the mime (laughs) (laughs) he must die and then he just sort of like snarls and hisses at the lot of you just Just leave him in there he's getting out of character well I can. Oh uh, no, I don't have enough resources. But if I could potentially just keep on uh, casting it forever. What you do notice though is, uh, especially the one that you beat the living piss out of, some of the wounds and everything is starting to already close up. Mm. That's okay. We just can. We can keep hitting them. They all start to heal. No. If we just That's get the opposite of what we want. We want to. No. Ryan, no. Just We're gonna have to concentrate on one guy then. Just, just get them all in the circle, and I'll cast sickening radiance again. No. Stand and throw rocks out. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. Yeah. laughs> That's the opposite. No. Of what um, David, no. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the one that um, the one that you shot out in the, in the roof is basically just like snarls and <clears throat> launching itself at you. So, what was yours? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at this point. It, it doesn't matter. Okay. Wait, why doesn't it matter? Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, it launches itself at you, basically like claws first. Like, so I was going to do both claw attacks and it's going to roll simultaneously. It doesn't try to pass through the circle? Are you I'll in the circle? I, I thought I put myself between it and the circle. That means you have to be over here. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, so, so, it's so it's like yeah, up, it's there. Yeah, it's up oh, there. Oh, yeah. I'd be able to get like their maximum. Yeah. So, no, so yeah. No. Uh, one hits. <laughs> what does that sound? <laughs> 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 If you were if you went on the other side of the circle, then it would have to leap through the circle to get at you. But then it probably just wouldn't do that thing. Yeah, yeah. Why not do this attack? Why not do the other attack? Oh, I guess. Uh, I'm thinking straight. Four damage. Uh, sorry, no, seven damage. Okay. And the other, yeah, basically everything else in the on the inside is like clawing and snarling at the inside of the um, uh, the cage. Rin. I'm in there. No, sorry, Auric. He's in there. Um, oh, you're in there. Well, oh, I had yeah. to. <laughs> well, yeah, because I had to grapple him to get you in. You are right. Yeah. I forgot you were in there. Uh, constitution save. I did like twenty-one. So I'm assuming that passes. What can save? I'm concentrating on the save. Yep. Uh, on a, on the, oh, the, the the sickening gradients. All right. Did uh. Actually, yeah. Dave probably once he went in there, like did a look. He probably just disappeared. 
<laughs> David <laughs> Knowles. <Nolan. laughs> hey, what's out here, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it was like, coast clean. <laughs> I probably would have let it pass. Cause I, I like to think that you probably didn't think to let it pass. Okay. Because you didn't think to let it pass. That's true, that's true. So the grapple no, by no the one here. grappled by you is going to try and break free. Yep. Is it opposed? If it's dead, it's, uh, it's opposed. Um, that's an I roll a natural 20. Uh, I did not. Uh, All right. So that you one breaks free. Um, no. The other one, that's <laughs> but that's his entire move, though, isn't yeah, it? That's yeah, that's it. Done. Uh, the other one suck is it. gonna try and um, literally claw suck. at you. Eighteen? No. no, no. And then it's gonna try and bite for the, uh, like lunge forward and try and bite for your face and throat, and probably chips a fang. <laughs> yeah, roll a two. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all the cool ones I keep on missing. Uh, Rin. Ah, Ulrich. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so three out of the four are there. So yep. we, the last one isn't there. Because I want to use my breath weapon, but I kind of want to use it on all of them. Um, don't, just, just don't let perfect be the enemy. Of <laughs> <laughs> what, what is your breath weapon? Lightning. Lightning. Ah. Lightning in a straight line. 30 feet, 5 by 5 feet, right? Yep. That's exactly correct. <laughs> um, so, at the moment, the last vampire you guys are fighting... It's, and it's, it's about there. there -ish. Okay, okay. But you're moving him in? Uh, I can't, really. I'll get Not him in there. Strong. I'll get him in there. Don't worry. Don't okay. worry. Forget about Just it. Just get on the murder truck. Between us, we can sort out the one outside if you can like track right. up the ones inside. Alright then. I'll, I'll deliver you another vampire in short order. Uh, as a bonus action, I am going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Um, and a floating spectral weapon appears and attacks the guy who's attacking me, I guess. That's a good one. Uh, and it gets to 16. That's radiant damage as well, right? Uh, force, force damage. Uh, uh, so what was the, the attack roll, sorry? 16. 16 hits, yeah. Cool. Uh, 1d8 plus my spell casting ability, which is 3? Yeah, oh yeah, 1d8. And which one were you hitting of the 3 that's in there? Uh, the one that was attacking me. Okay, yep. Well, the one I guess I was grappling at. Uh, so that would be 10 damage. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do a five. Well, actually, uh, are they all within. Um, is it. Uh, well, it's 30 foot range, so yeah, I'm. Sorry, I know that's. Are they in a line? Are they in a line? Or can I move. Can I adjust to get them in a line? No. <laughs> Well, it's the five feet width as well, so... Especially there was the one that he was grappled, the one that was attacking Because we would have just been inside it. I could, if I did a five foot adjust, I could probably be outside the, the thing and then just move. I think at best you'd probably get three. Well, no, but know. there are only three in here. Oh, to get all three yeah, in there. Yeah, just the three in there. line that's going to all three in there. Yeah, three well then, inside, yeah. they're copping a face full of lightning. Alright, face full of lightning. Uh, there's a save, if I remember right, yeah? Uh, it's a dex... 13, which I'll probably get. Yes. Second one, no. Third one, no. Alright, so one save, two didn't. 12 damage. It's not that, actually that impressive, but yeah. still good. Okay. You see one of them. The, the first. Uh, so 12 damage, and the other one was Well, I've done him 22 damage so far. Six. Can I do uh, That's it? The one that. You beat the living, living piss out of, and then started to heal up. Is basically like cooked on the inside of his skin, and his body just sort of like goes to like ash and dust and collapses to the ground. Like like, like the really bad special effect they used to do in Buffy. Exactly that. Mm. Yeah. Except less of like the skeleton burning on the inside. Uh, it's just like, mm. and yeah, and then you start to start seeing like this movement of like mist or air moving the, that, the bit of that dust around and you see like this part of its essence is still moving around hmm. and you see it good stuff that shit wafting up into like a like a small gas gas cloud and then trying to like but it can't do can't yeah. get out of it okay we're gonna stop that shit you got anything else 
Uh, no, I just say to the others, oh, yep. your friend looks a little bit, um, a little bit burnt over there. You might want to deal with that. Rin. <laughs> you could probably deal with this. That's such a line. <laughs> that I, a... I, I, I couldn't think of anything else. Uh, uh, you filed those TPS reports? Yeah. So you know the thing, like in, like, Dragon Ball, or like Naruto or something, where, you're gonna power where, up? where somebody's moving really quick, and it's like, yeah. It's like that, going over to the the vampire that's still outside can. of the. You're literally just running. You're just doing like <laughs> runs from each side of the wall because you've got the speed to do it. Over to the the one that's fighting uh, Nalag and like charge at it with the with the staff extended and like sort of like you know jousting sort of move. Nineteen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nineteen. Uh, it's nine damage. And again, more than that. Mm -hmm. uh, 14 damage. And again, 21 hits. Uh, 15 damage. Oh, of course. And I will again spend a key point to uh, this time. Kick him in the dick. <laughs> I'll kick him in the dick. <laughs> Uh, so that's a 21, that'll that, hit. That is the right, 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 right in the dick. Right in the dick. It's 11 damage. Jesus, you rolled max damage for a dick kick. For a dick kick. <laughs> uh, make a strength 14 save. I don't think you know, things probably disadvantage at this point. <laughs> uh, nope. Nope. And his dick flies off. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't hang on to that, I guess. <laughs> no, just explodes. Just like, just, just punts him. <laughs> Wait, Back did you use key for that? Because yeah. like, yeah, you've built up all this energy inside his penis. This is a spirit bomb. Yeah, spirit bomb. <laughs> At the base of your boot, yeah. <laughs> launching a guy into a prison. Just, just kick him right. I in. seen that episode. <laughs> <laughs> it took six weeks. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm imagining it being sort of like a like an NFL punt as well. Like just take a step and and he goes flying back into the thing. It's really that's really useful for like moving moving dudes around. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you got everybody's three, in the everybody's in the got, zone, guys. You got three and a half ah, dudes in the zone. I used my oh well, doesn't matter. And a half. I well, didn't do that extra twelve damage on him, him as well. All right, no. why are you? Uh, uh melt some fools. Uh, b -b 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 use your magic. first of all. Oh, I should use my magic. I've mean, never got a chance to do that. Building on fire. The ring will, the ring will survive. Uh, I'll send Batrick around just to do a sweep and make sure. There isn't anything else rustling around anywhere. Okay. The answer to that question is... Uh, it doesn't appear to, uh, appear to be, but you do see a couple of refugees start swatting at the bat at Batrick. Hey, 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 hey. Good bat. Good bat. You learn need, the, you learn need the to put difference. a name tag on him. Are you so for real? I rolled a 19. <laughs> <laughs> you need Ow. to give him like a high-vis vest. Walk, so people know walk, walk over to the refugee, smack him, take one, out, one take out the, take out. That's all. That's all. He's got one hit point. That's him gone. <laughs> take out the dead bat, wave it in their face. Bad bat, good bat. Bad bat, <laughs> what, and what good bat. <laughs> what you're basically showing is to a person who doesn't know the difference between bats is one bat that looks like the other bat because they are bat racists. <laughs> uh, bunch of bat racists. Uh, now, like you can hold these guys. Uh, pretty much as long as you need to. Yeah, sure. Like, dude. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, hey. buddy? Hey. You, okay. you can hold these guys for as long as you need to, really. we got plenty of time to uh, dust these fools. Yeah, pretty much. Excellent. All right, then. Uh, gather up a any any holy-looking object in the room Which and start are, are plenty. waving them in uh, vampire faces. But conveniently just out of their reach. Like, yeah. like just like right on the edge of the, yeah yeah just just outside of the um does anything I happen would to figure fact? the biggest holy symbol is probably <clears throat> me like I've got a huge ass shield oh, just basically whoa. <laughs> so <laughs> Jesus <laughs> uh <laughs> roll me an inside check uh that is going to be 13 plus something hopefully plus something well, that is like kind of my thing. Oh, insight. No, that's actually not my thing. That's just going to be 13. <laughs> you don't <I> get people. 
Hang on, you guys aren't books. <laughs> That's why I haven't learned anything from you yet. <laughs> yeah, 13. 13? Yeah. What you do notice is you're trying a whole pile of different relics and bits and pieces like that. The one that seems to work is a sort of wood carved statuette. The rest of them don't seem to have any influence. Uh huh. You may want to actually concentrate on that, like, um, dust guy, because he seems to still be kind of, um, like, present. Like, he's not just dead. Yeah. Dead. Haven't they just breathed him in by now? I mean, how does that work? That's not... No. It's not airtight. <laughs> it's a magic circle. It can't get out. But it's yeah. still... It's so still he's stuck in a magic circle as a big thing of dust. And they're in there. Oh, they probably don't breathe. Oh, they don't breathe. They're well, they don't air. breathe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And air can get in there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, I imagine I'm just saying if, there was, if, if there was a breathing, breeze... They'd be breathing in like there too. If there was too. a breeze blowing through there, it would just smatter against the edge of the <laughs> cylinder. <laughs> uh, uh, and the, the, the figure isn't of anything of particular note. Roll religion check, though. See if you know how much you know of the religions of this world. In your two days of being here. <laughs> well, that is going to be a ten. Uh, it looks like some sort of person. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a person. Is it Jeebus? See, it's me, Jeebus. Potentially. He is know. it Martian? Jeebus Krabs. Jeebus Krabs. Snap the uh, the person, the actual figure of the person, uh, off the, uh, <laughs> the rest of it. Oh. Chuck that over one shoulder. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Oh wow! <laughs> wow! Oh boy! Oh boy! I mean, we can we can have long no, like, conversations no. about yeah. religion. That is that is right. like my thing. Oh, just, you got you know, anything else after that, or? Um, <laughs> like just just the wooden bit, just the wooden bit. Uh, especially now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go in the pocket. <laughs> ah, stand the leg! <laughs> Shit, damn it! No, like, it's not it's okay, not so. It's... They've got. Like, all of the vampires are in there. Yep. Yep. Um, what is around the circle? There's me, there's Rin, and Ulrich. Oh, he's kind of, he's in, kind of in, it. in it. I'm in it. Okay, where are you? Oh, just he's like, just taunt. outside. He's Conducting him. experiments. I'm not taunting them. This isn't science. I, I could be a distance away from it as well. Like I was I'd attacking. Be there really quickly. No, but, <laughs> no, but like I moved around like to the outside of the guy who was attacking you. I'm like five feet away from him, fucking kicking him in the nuts, <laughs> and he goes flying into the circle. So uh, I'm probably further away from the circle than you. Okay, that's how sort of how I pictured it. Fair enough. Everybody, get as far away from the circle as you can. Oh shit. Oh dear. I'm right on that. Like, <laughs> there's not much I can do right now, so. Um, and I'm going to run 30 feet that way and radio casting of Sickening Radiance again. Okay. So when everyone's out of the... Radiating it for everybody getting what's clear. The, um, yeah. Once it's clear, the blast zone will happen. And how does that... Is that just an area of effect or is that yes. like a right... Okay. Yeah. And All how right. long does it last for? 10 minutes. They mm. just keep taking rolls. This is cool. Yeah. It's death trap. And what's the bump, range? Bump, bump, da, 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 da. So it's the same as the circle. Okay. No, the circle's 10 feet. Oh, okay. So, oh, that, okay. so you're all done? You're, you're backed off? You've, you've, said, you've said you said your bit? Um, Ryan's going to complicate matters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're going to totally grapple me. I'm guessing. I'm just going to have to put a whole bunch of fucking piles of, piles of damage onto the one thing they can at the moment. Yep. Uh, this was a good plan. Mm. Yeah, it was. But yeah, it worked out well. Yeah. Although this you is well right planned, well executed. Yeah. Good stuff. You created and, ex and executed a, a really good plan. No, I don't think you understand the significance here. We executed a plan. A plan. It doesn't necessarily. Like, who cares if it's good? Just roll like uh, like six crits in a row on. Um, on all oh, the yeah, turn. he's totally going. Okay, to the first one's going in there with, uh, with claws. Yep. That's not going to do it. That's a one and a four. Uh, Probably second not. one with claws. Nope. Third one with claws. Roll a fucking good die. The one. I mean, it's, one it's so it's so dusty in there from them, mate. They're, they're on like, holy ground. Maybe that's part of it. I mean, in, in fairness, they do also have to hit a twenty-three. Yeah. That's uh, fair. Do they have any disadvantage while they're in the circle? 
Uh, no. They're just going to leave it. Yeah. yeah. They have disadvantage uh, like five, uh, eight damage. It's on her claws. Oh, it actually hit one, me. One, one, they, they can't what did get? people outside of the Sorry? circle. What did you get oh. to? 24. Oh, okay, yeah. Eight damage. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Uh, well, it's your turn now. They're all going to try, because they can, if they didn't, if they hit with both of them, they can try and grapple you. Mm. And not do the damage, but... If you're just getting the fuck out of there, you can disengage. Well, I can still attack and, and then... But you can up. disengage and then you won't take any opportunity strikes. He's not going to take any hits yeah. anymore. Why not? Because he's, like, armored to, hold, to high okay, health. Okay, but if... Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. This is all Rick. He doesn't, he doesn't care about disengaging. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to... <laughs> I like the red dice. I like the red dice for vampires. Um, <laughs> I'm going to attack twice. Yep. Against the one that looks the most hurt. Yep. I'm also I'm going to use my divine strike to gain plus ten bonus to that one. So this one got to sixteen, and then that one got to eighteen. Yep. Yep. Um, I'm also going to use uh, my spell slots to add extra radiant damage. This is a divine um, judgment order. So I'm going to add three d8 radiant damage. It's um, some big ones. So one d10. This is my plus... the world. Your, your new you know, you know this is this is this is actually the perfect situation where you don't want to roll both these attacks at the same time. Because one of these is well, likely to fucking kill something. Yeah. Um, it would be one against... If the first one kills the guy, I'm obviously going to... Yeah, but there's no, this is what I'm saying. Is there's yeah. no reason to like limit yourself and have to fuck around with this. Just do one attack and then see what happens. Alright, well I do one yeah. attack. I get to 10 plus... Uh, so it's 3d8. I've used all my spell slots now. Uh, it's not too bad. 17. Uh, so 27. <laughs> yep. How did that, how did that go? That's not, that, 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 that hurt. He's still up? Yeah. Um, oh, wait a minute. Um, and the spiritual weapon. Oh, nuts. Uh, he's going bad for our hero. Uh, which gets to 12. It's actually angel. Does 12 hit? Uh, no, 12 does not hit. Ah, okay, that doesn't hit. Alright, well... One of these vampires was Angel. Yeah. The we second... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the second the attack. Spike, who was an angel, uh, was a hero. But he's dead. Oh, should, yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> he's the other one. Ah, fuck. Fuckers. <laughs> I can't remember what his catchphrase was. <laughs> the second attack does four damage. What did you do? You, you I rolled a one. Well, that guy's still going. I wasn't expect. I was expecting him to be a fucking crater at this point, but yeah, I still was I. But no. Well. Um, take your. Uh... Oh, and um, I bash him into the floor. That's a strength saver. Wait, how do you do that? Um, as a bonus action. But that was I... that was your your magical. Yeah, your, your, your spiritual weapon, weapon was your no, bonus. No, that was last turn. It's got its own turn now. No, it doesn't. No. But it's shield. doing its own thing now, isn't it? No. What's, You're attacking what, what with it. What can the shield do like, as it's animated things? No, it, it's only a bonus action if I want to move it. Do it, but it's still using your bonus action to actually attack something, doesn't it? No. Okay. It's, it's only a bonus action if I want to move it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to uh, make him prone. Uh, <coughs> so he's got a roll. Or he rolled and rolled low, so... Yeah, so he's prone. Yep. And now I'm going to move away. So there's only two of them attacking me now, because he's prone. He can still attack you while he's prone. Attack. Oh, well, true, yeah, I guess. Just as a disadvantage to do it. Just roll that again, then. I don't know if you got that, do I? So one's without disadvantage. Both miss. You made the right call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I figured, yeah. <laughs> Oh look, I'm out of the circle. All right, Rin, you're 30 feet away from it, yeah. Well, I my max, I have, that's the most I can move. So cool. yeah, cool. Rin, uh, 
He casually three laps around. Casually <laughs> saunters just incredibly fast <laughs> to the other side of the place. He 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 gets out of the thirty foot range, gets back in there, and get, gets back out seventeen times. <laughs> uh, hey guys, what are we doing over here? <laughs> now what why? are we doing over here? Now why? what are we doing over here? He just hangs out. This is. You want to see what the singing radiance is like? I'm actually mildly curious, uh, but not that curious. Uh, although I will pick a uh, one cubic foot uh, <laughs> space <laughs> currently <laughs> occupied by the dust cloud that was uh, the ex vampire and cast prestidigitation on it. How's what, sorry? Prestidigitation. Oh, press it, okay. What are you prestidigitating? I'm trying to clean it. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> I love that so much. <laughs> Pay me a word picture, right? Okay. Dust busters. <laughs> it's like mist and dust and uh, gross. Dirty. <laughs> Dirty. Dirty. <laughs> I want to clean your dusty cups. <laughs> okay. You see the scene that's like... <laughs> Oh, so sorry. Uh, uh, the um, radiant damage actually does a plus one d eight against undead, so he takes another uh, six damage. And that's marked. Okay, you see this sort of mini maelstrom of uh, of like mist and dust, and they're sort of swirling around, and, and the precipitation goes off, and like the dust just goes, and he's got this clean, sparkling mist. <laughs> Floating around. It's still a thing. It's not a... <laughs> you didn't kill it with <laughs> prestidigitation. <laughs> okay, okay. No one, no one else has thought to try this. You In all of human history, <laughs> I swear to God, no one's thought to try this. Mm, okay. Probably not, yeah. Write it down in your book. <laughs> not... Not <laughs> effective. Not, not susceptible to... Prestidigitizing. Prestidigitation. Uh, incidentally... I mean, you got your thing queued up, and um, you know it's definitely going to go off and wipe these guys out. Uh, if any of them are still standing after this, I think between us we can get one of their faces off. Why? Why? How? Why? Why do you want one of their faces? Um, how to put this? How to put this? Um, so magic exists in the world, right? Yes. And okay, you know, your six second turn is up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, that, and, and that's a weird thing. Uh, and if I have something's face, I'm better at killing it. And not not just the thing that I have the face of, but the entire like class of monster that it is. Very well. I'll, we'll, we'll we'll see what we can do. I suppose. I imagine vampires are probably going to come up again. So like a vampire face would actually be kind of that beneficial. Picturing you like getting the page. Like picking up a handful of dust <laughs> and sort of drawing like a child's <laughs> face on the thing, and then just getting like some 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 like glue. shellac spray and just like going over the top of it. Get the glue stick and draw a picture, and then dust it over there, and then like pull, pull it up dot, and like dot, tap off the exit. smile, tap off fang, the exit, fang. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. What happens now? What, what is happening now? Well, uh, sickening radiance has been cast. Uh, the first roll was 20 damage. Okay. So anything within that 30 feet takes 20 damage. Or has to sub save the... It's not a good note. It's, it's, it's like a really, really, really low save roll, right? At 15. Mm. So not super low. Alright, so uh, 20 damage, you say? Yep. And one point of exhaustion. I'm like in a face. And if... Actually, yeah. So the spell ended, so all the ones that did have exhaustion don't have exhaustion anymore. Oh, the previous one? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, so they're stuck in. So the, the one that um, Ulrich beat up a whole bunch basically just like melts. Like this, this vicious area of spell is just like melted in from the feet first. Wicked. <laughs> it's like most of the way down and like his body is like looks like it's been it's been like melted like a candle and like the, the top uh, half is still, 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 still stuck there gross the top half is still stuck there top half is still there there's a nice little like, temptation yeah, for you to go yeah, close yeah. uh is anyone gonna anyone planning on approaching 
the surgeon. Well, my, my weapon. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. How 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 safe is it for us to get closer? Uh not safe at all. I'd say. I will wait here. Uh, I can get in and out. I can get in and out like real quick. Off. At this point here, I'm going to drop us out of out of uh, initiative order. Yep. We, we, you seem, guys, we seem to have constructed have... A, a fiendish death trap. <laughs> <laughs> You I now think it's so much a death trap as it's a death chain. You currently have fifty-six minutes before that spell ends, and those guys are free. Yeah, uh, but um, there's sort of like going to be a balancing point of how much damage they take from sickening radiance each round versus how, how much damage they are taking each round. Uh, well, like, I mean, I, I rolled a twenty, but I have to re-roll every turn. So, well, that's going to be an interesting game. Yeah. So, what's the range? Um, it's 30 yeah. feet. If we, it's, yeah, it's but if 30. we, no, no, I meant, sorry, I meant the range of damage, so what's the average, if we average it out, like, what would, yeah. Well, I mean, like, well, yeah, 40, 10, so average of 20. Okay, on average, they're going to be taking 10 damage around. Yep. They'll, um, they'll heal some, they'll take some damage. Yeah. Yep. So let's, so well, you've got, and you've got I, a timer on this. My now. spectral sword's still in there, I can do damage Hold on. as well. But also, do if we, they, when they fail the save, they take exhaustion points. And once they get to like level three exhaustion, they have they have disadvantage on ability saves. Do we want to talk to these vampires? Well, we can. We can do it right now. Ex excuse me, vampires. Why are you attacking this church? They're, they're over there. If <laughs> they're, they're over there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's just, that's, that's you, my, my you, mind picture. You're doing you're doing it to the room. <laughs> you're playing playing to the room. That's, yes. Do they talk? Do they talk? Or are they just growling at us? If if you answer our questions, ho hold on. I'm going to be. I'm going to have some guile and deception. If you answer our questions correctly, perhaps we can free you from from this uh, magical trap that you are encased in. Um, we may. What is the priest and what's her face doing? Uh, tending to the refugees. Go. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> One of those doesn't say what to do if you try and interrogate the vampire gaunts. That's, that's, uh, that's definitely an option. Uh, one of them sort of like hisses at you and like tries to sort of like scratch at the scratch at the wall. The other one, like this trap can't hold us indefinitely. No, but it will kill you again. I'm already dead. It will kill you more. Yeah, I know what exhaustion does. I know. Uh, I'm fairly sure between the father and I here, we could figure out a way to destroy the dust that appears to be whatever soul or thing that you're possessed by. Um, so we can kill you. I can almost guarantee you of that. Is it sickening radiance hurting the, the little spirity thing that was in the dust? It doesn't appear to be that. Um, okay. Well, okay. Well, there's... Yeah. They don't seem too worried. I think they'll probably just be fine. And I might try and... You're more than welcome to come in here well, and try. Well, I might actually try and... Um, um, At this point, they've probably got, like, two weeks to actually fight Persuasion on that. If we just want to, like, hit them in the face. Hey, uh, guys, for the record, I don't want anything from you, and this is an intimidation, but as soon as you reform, I'm cutting your faces off and teleporting you underground. <laughs> I want to roll. Well, I want you to roll intimidation. That is, that is, yeah, that's I, again. I, I think again, I'm just gonna like, roll like a wisdom to, save on that. I got one. to that's twenty-two. That's gonna happen. Yeah, that is so matter of fact. It's not intimidation. It's just like it's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> I got to twenty-two on my persuasion. Yeah. To how yeah. the hell did you do that? Oh wait, you got charisma. Yeah, yeah my charisma. Um, on my basically going between the two religious people here, we are going to destroy you. So yeah. Okay, so I failed, but what was, what's your aim here? To persuade him that we can kill him, so he should start talking if he wants to live. Huh. Then do it. End this pathetic life. If you believe yourself so strong. You're right, they wear him over there. Oh my <laughs> god, yeah. Does anyone have any, like, razor blades? <laughs> <laughs> it's like South Does, Park goth is, shit yeah, right there. Is, is not like, noticing anything about the gaseous one? Like, is it getting affected at all? Doesn't seem to be getting affected by the damage or anything like that. Is it, it is steadily trying to escape, like every now and then. It's one like, of their names, Coach Toronto. Is it? <laughs> is it glowing at all? Sorry. Like, is it glowing? Yeah. 
Okay, so so it is affected by the spell. It's affected by it, but it's not okay. seeming to take yeah, any we further need damage. to deal with okay. these dust things. Because, yeah, once it... Yeah. I would assume that, like, full exhaustion does kill it properly, but if not, then... Mm. That's annoying. That's... I've never heard that. It's, I've never heard vampires die of exhaustion. Yeah, but, like, this is also radiant damage. I don't see why that wouldn't hurt me. Even more yeah, well. if you can keep this up and I can have a short rest, then yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, even a, preferably a long rest. You, you probably could have a short rest in this time. Yeah. I don't, I don't think that, that tracks at all. It's like an hour. The, yeah. um, Definitively, this is less than an hour. <laughs> You're probably the most perceptive one going on. I am perceptive. Perception check. I got a 13. 13? You start hearing like the rain hitting the roof. Start to start a nighttime shower, and, I, and it gets heavier and heavier. And the area of the roof where they pull the the the, um, the roof beams off, water starts to pour down the roof, and then inside the building it starts flowing across the floor. Hey, buddy, what's that magic circle made of? Holy water. It's made out of holy water. What about it? It's it's. I used the holy water to make the spell, but it's used it in the process. Yeah, it's, it's magic. Why? It's made of magic. Yeah, it's made of magic. Yeah. <laughs> Why? It's, <mad>. yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's it's not gonna be like. It, you, I, d- I don't like other people putting on your character voice because it feels like taking away. But it's always funny when people do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So, um, so, as you guys are sort of like asking this question, the water starts to flow a little bit, a um, little bit uh, faster as the as the rain's getting heavier and heavier. And even though they're on the raised dais, the water starts to sort of run underneath it and running water running water and vampires neat oh Strahd's getting rid of loose ends I guess <laughs> also their movement speed would be zero thank right you now. Strahd yeah they're basically like yeah with the exhaust and everything they're sort of stuck in, stuck in place at this point here and the water starts to flow underneath and you just sort of see them sort of like panicking as this water flow running water is one of the yeah. weaknesses they've got looks like your master um doesn't like you really so, see ya. And yeah, the, the mist just instantly. And the, uh, the the one that's been like half melted. I'm I'm going in for a face right now. I'm taking I'm fucking I'm taking the opportunity. I am I am going to uh, cast mirror image, and I am ducking in quickly for a face. Uh, you have to You're roll your rolling, sickening. You yeah. roll your save versus sickening uh, radius as well. Yep. DC fifteen con save. Meanwhile, the other two, they were basically... But it's like, wait! Nope. On the edge of death at this point. Was it tw- 20 damage? What are wrong with the average? Yeah, yeah average is 20. And you take half on... I fell it. Okay. One wait! Point, one point of exhaustion and... Um, yeah, 20 damage. I just... I'm so, I'm so tired, guys. This does guys, give you, guys, guys, I'm, did, just, I'm so tired. This does wait, give your you, thing would have been run out by now as well, the haste. You're also, <laughs> you're, also, you're also really tired. Like, I've been, like, vibrating from side to side, and then it, it cuts out, and it's like... Slump. <laughs> it's just like the... Ding! Stonk. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna sit down here for a little while, guys. But yeah, if you want to little, go do a, a little, survival check to a little, peel off a face... A little sad flute solo. You have disadvantage on that. It's a disadvantage for everything in a magic circle. Uh, any ability checks okay. while you're first while, while, you've, while you've got exhaustion. It's exhaustion. Oh, it's the exhaustion magic thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, did you add the plus? Oh wait, no. no it's going, going to be, be more than ten feet away. Eighteen plus. What is my survival? Nothing. And come on, face nine. Nine. You're doing this fairly hastily. The hand sort of shaking a little bit because you're taking damage. You know there's a time time frame on this now. You can see on the other side of the uh, behind you on the dice, the water's beginning to flow quite heavily under, underneath and like heading towards the middle of the room, and then starting to pour through some cracks in the um in the thing. And you sort of basically like grab the side of the cheek and just like knife in, like trying to. You've basically managed to grab sort of the profile of the Phantom of the Opera. Across the face, so you've got a got a chunk. I like it. I'm going to say I did that on purpose. It's not complete, but you've got a sample. Our wizard friend here's a weirdo. That's well, uh, he is the uh, the mad wizard. And mm. as you sort of pull away with this sort of freshly made mask, I guess death mask. It's a death mask. The 
last of the, the basically the next down, the next heavy part of the shower comes through. There's another sort of flood of water comes comes flooding down the wall and, and through the room, and the uh, the remains of those two vampires basically expire from the sickening radiance, and then the mist. Is so we need to start taking the buckets by the of water power of everywhere. Running water. I think just a, the, just throwing a bucket of water underneath them is not going to be quite enough to enough power, but yeah. If one of us has like sheets. So water. two buckets of water then. Is what we're I think yeah, at least said. at least mm. three. Mm. Like, yeah, or on the side of caution. Yeah. With that, right. if we could summon a sun, that'd be good. Mm. With that, we'll pick it up next yeah, we week. We don't have any magical items have. that do that. Oh, Solve my vampire yeah, yeah, yeah. problem. Thanks for listening to Sunday Sessions. You can find us on SoundCloud at Isolated City Gaming. You can find us on Instagram under Isolated City Gaming. You can also email us at isolatedcitygaming at gmail.com.